And with that, we say hi to Bill Burr in studio. What's up, yes. gentlemen? Hanging in New York, so Bill. he's got to come by and uh, do the show with us. Second uh, Comedy Central special will air this Sunday for Bill Burr. Let It Go is the name of it. And then it's going to be available on uh, CD slash DVD October 5th. BillBurr.com for all the Bill Burr info you need to know. 11 p.m. Sunday. On 11 Comedy, p.m. Sunday, Comedy yes. Central. Yeah, let's all uh, take a peek, please. Support Bill. And Bill was listening to us talking about college, and you're all in with 100 this. 100% agree that that is the biggest... Like uh, No one's talking about it. That's why. It, it, it that's has become why. a scam in the last, I don't know, when, when it went through the roof. If I had a kid, right, and he was going to college, I'd be like, look, just go to community college. Go there two years, and in the meantime, try to find some motivated, driven people with good ideas <laughs> and get with them and invent something. Start your own business, mm. shoot a movie, whatever you want to yeah, do, yeah. Uh, rather than you know pay a hundred grand to become a drone. Mm -hmm. And it's like you come out of school, you're like a hundred, hundred twenty thousand dollars in debt. And if you go in that route, the sheep route, just following the herd over the cliff, you're going to be married within three, four years, and then you're going to uh. have like a, a, like a three, four hundred thousand dollar house, depending on where the hell you live. Uh, on top of that, and you're done. You're on the fucking wheel until you're 65. You're gonna wake <laughs> up like, wheel. what happened? He's, you're Just in chasing debt. the carrot. In debt. In debt. Yeah. yeah. Hopelessly in leaving? debt. And we're not even talking credit cards. No, no. no. Leaving college and owing 100, 150. You don't even have a job yet. That's what Kevin Smith did. He was going to film school and uh, had like 30 grand right. into film school. He realized instantly that this sucks. I could have made uh, a, dropped a out. film for 30. Well, that's what he did. He dropped the <laughs> fuck out. And used the money. the money he, back and right. made clerks with the, uh, with right. the money. I, obviously, it's not going to work for everybody. You know, no, but, but it's, it's but one still, of those things. In know. general, though, why not? Bill Gates, another college dropout. Yeah, yeah. that's right. He did drop out. Yeah. decided, fuck this. Let me give this a whirl. But if I'm you really want to. stole it from Steve Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to continue yeah. your schooling, though, going to community college is not a bad idea anymore. People used to look down at the community people. Community college. They used to look down at those guys, but I think they're, they're doing yeah. you know, something right. You well, know, if you can go to a, get the basic classes out of the way anyway, and then move maybe on to a university. Then maybe you only have two years of debt. There you go. There's another way to do it. But to sit there and just take it four years in the face. <laughs> I mean, boy, here's in the face. Somebody actually just wrote, "Yeah, but Kevin Smith got lucky. Everyone gets lucky. Yeah, it's part of the whole like, game. No, he, he didn't get lucky. He went out and he had balls. Yeah, he went out. He took the money instead of going to school. He made a movie. The movie hit. It, it, it hit a nerve with a lot of people back then, and and, and took off, and and that made a career for when him. When it works, you have balls. When it doesn't work, you're just an asshole. You're an asshole. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. But the basic kid, you luck know, is you got to weigh that shit. But there are there are a ton of kids in college who don't even know what they want to do. Is there a, a amassing a hundred thousand right. dollars? Yeah, that's right. like, I don't know. Major? I'm switching my major, and, and it's just and maybe I, mean, yeah, I was poli sci. Yeah, but yeah. now I'm thinking yeah. well, maybe I'll be a teacher. <laughs> and maybe you're lucky enough that your, your parents are going to pay for it. I I had to pay for my own college, and there's a lot of kids out there paying for their own yeah, college. Yeah, I paid for most of mine. Loans. So there's got to be a better way is what I'm thinking. Yeah, there's got to be. Yeah, Bill actually you shouldn't blindly just nailed that graduate one. high school and go into college. You shouldn't Com do it anymore. Community college you really should think and then about get a bunch of guys that actually have ideas and fucking... Yeah. Some of you and don't sleep on futons until you make it. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> live make, me on your means. Make, yeah, make don't the sacrifice. Do don't go yeah. get a man cave at 24, <laughs> you fucking moron. I got a legit. No credit cards, none of that. I got a legit invention. Uh, what, how do I? How do I get? Uh, how do I move forward? Are you an it? inventor with an invention? Do you have an invention? <laughs> Are you an inventor? Just dial. Don't you listen to this stupid station? But uh, no, I don't, I don't believe in our sponsors. Like, what, what's the real way to do? Oh, this? what about the one that's on Ron and Fest for fucking the balls for balls. smelly balls? Smelly balls, yeah. Yes, I heard that commercial yesterday. I'm like, what the fuck? Is I want to present an idea to somebody. How do I do it? <laughs> Uh, Whisper it to me. No way. I'm keeping this one close you, to the you, you, you know, there are a lot I'm of serious. There are a lot of companies that have these things for inventions and stuff, and I don't know but how I don't want they them, work. I don't want them to take I, exactly. I don't know how. I don't they want work. them to take. This is all what my you money. do. What you got to do. You, you you take some some hmm. sort of like some sort of tool that uh, that's in the kitchen, and you make it slightly more easier. No, I <laughs> even despite invention. the fact that I'm, I'm it already that works, yeah, and then you just have fine. one person not figure out how to right. use a can opener. Right? It's <laughs> yeah. so difficult to scrape yeah. the skin off their fingers, <laughs> make them look real stupid, and then yeah. make it, yours look real easy. Like you know, it was a great one. Is is the uh, 
the um, in my lifetime, the, taking the cork out of the wine bottle. How then oh, they yeah. had that thing with the two legs, like yep. some whore. She spreads her legs, <laughs> yes. and then you drive the cork into her fucking twat. <laughs> yeah, that, that thing, one. that thing there is genius. Right? Yeah, that was like the last genius. No, invention. but mine's a fun <laughs> thing. See, here's what you got to do. You got to draw be a fun it up. Thing. Draw it up. I got all. I got it. all that. Well, draw it up. Oh, oh, give, make a little. Give a little. Who do I present this to? Then you got to take it to patent office. Yep. You got to patent that fucking thing. All right. So you that's get, my first step. Yeah. yeah. And then what? You don't have to go through anybody, really. Then you unless find a it's scientist. Our, unless it's our sponsor. Do I have to find a company, then, that is into my idea? No, you find a scientist. You just hang no, out it's not a, it's in, like, a, a library and look for a guy with a yeah. white lab coat. After that, you <laughs> just look for a guy with a lab coat. It's a, I'll, After that, you have I'll to tell come you this up with some type of prototype. It's a dumb... It. Oh, that's easy, too. It's a dumb game I invented that I think could do yeah. really well. It yeah. involves shitting on the beach? <laughs> well, it's a, it's, it's a shit <laughs> shovel for the beach <laughs> that, you, that you put in your car. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have to walk five minutes to a toilet like, no, a, yes. like a human he, he being. He invents a bathing suit with a roll of toilet paper attached to the side. <laughs> you ever been on the beach and had to take a shit, but it was a five-minute walk? Yeah, yeah. Sure, we all have. <laughs> sure, we all have. The beach is the world's Shitting largest Shitting at home fucking... is so inconvenient. Yeah. But the beach is the world's Somebody largest litter box. Falling off a toilet. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> it's a litter box. Yeah. I shit in a litter box. Giant it's in the box. box. A giant litter box. What did, what did you invent? It's got something to do with I duty. I can't say, because then someone else is going to take it. going to steal it? I like my idea. I bet it's, I bet it's a duty like dicer, it a so you can actually feed it to the birds <laughs> on the beach easier. <laughs> and it's better to try to figure out what I invented than to tell you. It's a game, though? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Anyone who's played it is, is like, right on, man. Right on. It's you a should, game? Do it. Yeah. Does okay. it rhyme with Bic Back Bow? Very basic, too. Very basic shit. No? I mean, Tic Tac Toe, that's old. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you want another Ira celebrity Twitter read? No, I want to guess at this game. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. What kind of game? How, How about you can just wink at he, me? He's going to invent I'm Not Sorry. It's a meaner, <laughs> it's a meaner version. <laughs> <laughs> it involves a lot of punching. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sorry. There you go. Why well, tell you when the, when the guesses are better? Uh, great game. Yeah. Fresh Ball's greatest radio commercial ever. That's yeah, in. yeah, fresh balls. It's called. Do you believe in the sponsors? Uh, yes, yeah. well, wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. I believe in them. Mm -hmm. I use them, mm -hmm. and I uh, mm -hmm. I trust in them. Maybe mm -hmm. it's a new version of Monopoly, where every property you land on, you step in shit. <laughs> 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 Boardwalk. There's big duty under it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Uh, Do not pass. If you pass go, you collect toilet paper or wet naps. <laughs> That's it. Keep, keep, keep a, a mediocre joke going, Jimbo. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to help you out. Some sort of shit house for the jail, jail uh, house. I you know what? Help me out. Tape over my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see, high school teacher called one of the. Hold on, yeah, because I, I, I gotta, I gotta do the right thing with this. Vinny in Jersey, Vinny. Hey, what's up, boys? Hey, man. Hey. Um, I had a teacher in high school who told us a horror story about one of those uh, 1 800 numbers for inventions. Right. He called one in the 80s and he had an invention for the locking system for the car mat, that little, uh, you know, little plastic piece, piece that holds them in place. Well, it keeps it from sliding on right. you, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And he found out two years later, after nothing happened with this uh, 1 800 number, that the company, the 100 number, was just stealing the inventions and selling them to like big manufacturers and big yeah, companies. Yeah, see, that's why I'm, I'm scared. Yeah, you gotta watch. All of a sudden, you yeah. call something, go, "Oh, that's a dumb idea." You go, "Oh, all right," and then you see it in stores like, five years, years later. Years. Yeah, oh, that's what scares me. In like 1989. Maybe my maybe my dumb thing is stupid, but I want to. I don't want anyone ripping it off. <laughs> I love how you're pitching it. Maybe my dumb thing is stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what game could this be? <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, like another guy, actually a corporation probably made all the money, was that stupid thing, you know, when you you hold your phone between your, your shoulder oh, and your side yeah, of your that face. Right. That, 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 that attachment. Little, that that I, attachment that then, goes on your shoulder looks all silly when it's sitting on the cradle. And then there's uh, <laughs> this horror stories of guys who worked for big companies and invented stuff while they were an employee. And couldn't reap the uh, the benefit. oh all, all the time all the time right yeah I'm trying to remember yeah. one I think it was the post-it note or something some guy invented while he was working for a company and he couldn't he didn't get a dime for that that yeah. and uh, all the way back to you know, that guy Tesla. I think it was the post-it Tesla got fucked yeah yeah they just went, he's crazy I guess the good dude was crazy but you know right but they, if you invent something while you're working for a company while during work hours especially you're fucked it's all that's theirs. when you need a really good friend who can. 
pull what it off. What the hell is the neck yeah. basket? moron drunk friend. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, neck basket. I, I invented it. <laughs> the neck basket, it's, a, it's what they hand you when you join Islam. <laughs> <laughs> In case you ever are interpreted as being an infidel. <laughs> Good explain. Yeah, that was a... Uh, Fake infomercial, yeah, uh, but it's but it's uh, uh, very much. It's not that far off. Believe you could me. actually sell that thing. Yeah, they make everything look so inconvenient. I forget what part, what commercial this is really for, but I was watching it. It starts off looking like one of these ads, and like the first time I saw the the Snuggie, I thought the same thing. Like, all right, when does this turn into the joke? Yeah, and it never did. And when the first time I saw this, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, all right, when does it turn into the joke? Because this could totally be sold. Well, I could see this. It turned into the joke when they had the XXL <laughs> extra one. extra large. Well, this is like the full length one. Like, there's a short one that you know it's like 25 seconds and then it goes into the real commercial i love these commercials they're ridiculous yeah i've uh i've sat and watched infomercials though for the entire length oh, of, of them course. just fascinated have you seen the one for those like this like the six dollar binoculars where if you you put them up to your eyes you could see like china and japan <laughs> <laughs> see things 55 miles away there's no way that's ever happening as a comic i did a warm-up for fucking the home right paint stick which was an infomercial. Wow, the paint stick? And uh, is, I, I was the one. Is that the one that, uh, that you push and it's like a big needle and yes. like a syringe of paint yeah, in the it's handle? It's like shooting heroin into your house. <laughs> yes. And it uh, goes on to the roller. And I. Uh, I was the warm-up. They had, like, you do warm-up. It was, like, a six-hour day. I was very new in comedy Whoa. back then, a couple years in. You're like, this is a big break. Dude, I was fucking... I was bombing so bad, the, the crowd... No, this is not the one I... Wait. Dude, that guy, Jan, did it. That guy who does all the infomercials. And I was bombing so bad, I wound up just talking to the crowd because I just wasn't funny back then. Ooh. So, like, well, we'll keep up on your career. It was so humiliating. Oh, oh wow. Man. That's pretty bad. I don't think this is uh, the commercial. Home right paint stick. What the hell is that? It, it looks like it, but I mean, the, the information was, you know that guy Jan that did a million of them and that chick? You'll know them as soon as you see them. They're failed, whatever, but successful at that. Mm. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, home have, right I paint have, stick. I have two ideas. All right. Are you going to give them away? No, fuck no. All right, good. And I'm never going <laughs> to develop them either. And I'm going to be <laughs> bitterly talking about them in my 80s in some bar. <laughs> And that it finally was comes out. Yeah, that was me. And then you realize something like that was invented in '76. It was just called something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if somebody brings that up and actually has the evidence. You're like, ah, oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you guys never like me. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be great to invent something really creepy, like like wipes that will remove all DNA evidence. <laughs> yeah, that's convenient. Tired of leaving semen on a stomach. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure, but down down the spy <laughs> shop. I, th I thought you had an angle there. No, I didn't. Yeah. I, I did have an angle. Jimmy. Straight to bomb. <laughs> it was it was an arrow pointed down. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the disappointment in Jimmy's I face. No, he really does get disappointed. That's okay. It doesn't even so allow it to sit there and let us decide. I'm he very just tired. Gets disappointed he knows. right away. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah, whatever. I got to figure out the invention thing. You know, we should all get together and just. Come throw, up with throw in all our night. I'm not even bullshitting. All our 1995 ideas. We'll take the best one out of the hat and go for and, it. And just, just go, go for, for it. it. Just go for it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I mean, what, what a shitty idea just to get on your guys' bandwagon. Let's, on. Yeah. Yeah. We sell a zillion of them. We all After come taxes, up with we'll shitty, probably all make. Somebody else comes up with a good one. <laughs> we all just have shitty ideas. Yeah. <laughs> My brother came up with an app. Really? Yeah. A good one. He did an NDA and everything. A and good one. He, you he, think it is? He went to the company. What made, category would it be in? I, I, Utilities? I, it's way too fucking... Photography? Scott. Pretty okay. smart kid, uh, guy. Yeah. Oh, I know what it is. You sold no. that really well. You're like, my brother came up with an app. I'm like, well, like really? And you, all wait, I'm saying you go like is, this, you go, yeah. yeah. I was like, shit, I, no, want, in. It's good. I, I want in on I this. I want in. How yeah. do I get in? Dude, exactly. it's good. That's how you it's so good. He, he got so paranoid. He made this company that he went to, which is a big time app company. He signed an NDA. And then he presented the idea, and they went, holy shit. Right. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's the way I'm going to pitch I'm the next you. TV show. I got an idea yeah. for a TV show. Oh, really? Yeah. Bring me in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just, yeah. just look at the guy. Oh, yeah. 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 Just, you just suck him in. <laughs> could be He's shit. pretty excited about it's it, two though. guys. One guy's neat, and the other guy's a little messy. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
My brother sold me on it, though. I went, wow. Dude, you sold me. I didn't <laughs> know right. what the idea is. I Just can't to... say anything more because it's very early. And who knows? It might, go, it might not go anywhere. But this company went, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah, they got a team and everything now. Seems like oh, it would be yeah. so easy to come up with a good invention, but it's kind of hard. You got If you could come up with a good app, I mean, who knows what happens. It's with probably a creepy app. It's called the Jew Detector. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Let me, I'm going to the app store right now. Dude, if you, what, is, what did Twitter add today? I just saw that on TV. Uh, photos and are they yeah, doing photos like and a, videos? I think in, I haven't checked. So they're gonna, yeah, because their, their Twitter.com site sucks. So now oh, what? Terrible. That site's going to have... Uh, Pictures and videos? Yeah, they want to make it a little more marketable. Right on, man. Uh, no, but if you come up with a good app, that is that is the that is the fucking uh, yeah yeah it's the future. <laughs> it's not the future. That's that's financial freedom, my friends. Yeah, financial freedom. Yeah. If you come up with if a you good make app. enough, yeah, then they sue you. Yeah, and then there's taxes. And then you're that angry guy who just left with forty grand. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's got to be something. Yeah, I always think it's gotta be. It's gotta be something so easy. That's it's what just, I. I think. And all then day I, long. I come up with some I stupid invention to make sure your mustache isn't crooked, like yeah. it doesn't go further down. Just I, some stupid like must, that shit. mustache level. Yeah, I know. Are you shaving everything, like your head and stuff? No. Okay. Yeah. I was confused airports. yesterday. No, I paid too much. <laughs> Why would I shave my hair off? <laughs> I'd love you to try to, and it just won't cut. <laughs> like that's what they, they, you didn't see that. It just, it's uncuttable. It's like fucking wire, razor wire. <laughs> that fake putting green grass. <laughs> no one knows what my game is. I'm not even going to the phones just in case you come close. Nope. Well, oh, no. I know what your game is, is it, already. Oh, jump to conclusions. What? No. Oh, pretty good one. Thanks. <laughs> oh, the penis towel. I wish I invented the penis towel. What is it called? The dick towel, right? <laughs> oh yeah, that go. You you can get that on funnyforonesecond.com. But you know how many towels they had? They must have sold by now. The dick towel. Come on, huge cock. That can't. Is dick that real? Dick yeah. it, it, it probably. Was, it was part of Always Sunny. Yeah, it yeah, was like yeah. an intro thing. Derek has one. Does he? Yep. Yeah, but it started out as a joke. Uh, I, I bet you they're making real money though off the dick towel. Oh yeah, the the, the website on. crashed in the first All time. Right, the show so there you go. <laughs> Fucking D boy had to get one. What an ass. Why wouldn't you get a dick towel, Ant? Because it's silly. Exactly. What's wrong with being silly? I don't know. It's not the kind of silly I want. Yeah, I'd get one if it was black. <laughs> you know, you know, I didn't different. Even, I didn't even know that that came from the TV show because I I wasn't. Watching the show, and now I do watch the show. There, Danny I had no idea. Yeah, Dick Towel. I had no Dick idea. Towel's that was part sunny. of Always Sunny. I'm uh, way behind though. Also, kitten mittens. Three. Kitten mittens. Look at that For poor your, cat. For all your kitty that needs. Poor fucking cat <laughs> has little mittens on, <laughs> and it's just they don't like walking in those things. That guy's the funniest. cats hate things on their feet. That guy's the funniest guy in TV, by the way. <laughs> what? <laughs> what fucking cat? After we watched this in the back office one day, I think we spent the next hour and a half watching animals with shit on their feet because it's just too goddamn funny. Why is it so fucking funny? I know. They all walk like they, they walk like Blair's cousin Jerry. <laughs> wow. Those poor fucking animals. How do they get away with this without getting complaints? I I have a feeling they do get complaints, but yeah, always Sunny do. kind of doesn't give a shit in general. That's God, why I like that, that show. Funny. I want to see that video that uh, Bill uh, mentioned about the uh, oh, kid. What do you got? Kid with the what uh, you got Bill air, air horn. Oh, this this really fat kid who uh, E Rock said looked like John Panette is <laughs> sleeping on the couch, and his brothers come over with an air horn and just blast him right in the face with it. And E Rock uh, should have uh, 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 said it, the kid looks like me. Looks like E Rock. <laughs> Like, no, no, any no, no, he's right. Watch when you see this All kid. Right. This is Sean. And we're about to blow an air horn while I'm sleeping. Let's check that. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Big fat kid just got woken up. <laughs> 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 He's got a big loving t-shirt on. 
Legs are kicking. Oh, oh the deleted. It ends up on. Now he just starts watching TV like a little whale, just laying there. <laughs> Don't you hate fat kids? Ah, oh, look at him. <laughs> oh, he's kicking at the camera. Carrie. Okay, stop. Oh, he's getting up. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, I'll hit it right out you're in. And you'll pay for it. Uh oh. He's gonna throw. Do it, do it, do it, do it. There's a little metal briefcase he's gonna. Tell him to delete it. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Give me headaches. Give me headaches. Annoy you. This kid's great. These poor kids, their childhood is over. <laughs> Done. Who didn't have that moment? Your older brother's picking on you, losing your shit, and your mother never comes to your defense. No. no, no kids fucking torturing you, and she's in the other room, you know. I Michael, like, stop that. I like how he's yelling, delete it, and now it's everywhere for everyone to see. <laughs> yeah, that's a classic example of why you have to just roll with the joke, because yeah, then, yeah. then it's only, you know, 15 seconds long. And 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 it's over. If he just would have went, ah, stop. Yeah, they they wouldn't have put that up. It would have been nothing. No one would watch it. It's now like, it's hysterical. It's like Clemens. If he just like, yeah, yeah, I roided it up. Yeah, yeah. What do you want? I take a hundred victories away. Yeah, I did it. Go, yeah, go stop ahead. Stop saying do? I did roids. <laughs> that. You didn't say that. Ah, <laughs> oh, with his big fat face. Oh, oh he looks he just got... like Panette. Oh, it's a good call. Yeah, it is a good call. Uh, all right, Chubsy Ubsy. I had electronically signed something yesterday, and now I just got an email that it wasn't accepted. What the fuck? Why do they have to make everything so complicated in this world? Why can't you just have it mailed to you? Yeah, or because well, that's too easy. Or faxed. You yeah. have to go through a whole process to get, them... to get a, like a password, a customer ID to get your electronic signature official. I don't know. Yeah, and then what they're gonna do I, is I, they're, I, gonna, they're I, gonna have. I help tell dick jokes. Why do we have to deal with this shit, Ant? <laughs> They're going to sell your electronic uh, signature, and then if you ever try to come after the Illuminati, they'll just ah, they'll just have this go. piece of paper with documents that I am a Nazi, and they'll just stamp. They'll have it. Yeah. I, the Illuminati could just forge it. Ready for this? This is what I got. <laughs> This is what I got. Hi, Opie. The filing was not accepted. That's because... the best anybody's ever taken out one of my dumb theories. <laughs> the Illuminati. I think I just forge it. Hi, Opie. The filing was not accepted because it did not have a valid user ID or password. That's right. Oh, well, you're not valid. You're not valid. I'm valid. Well, you're not. I went through not. the process yesterday. You were valid. It went through. If it wasn't validated properly. <laughs> Ant, don't make fun. You gotta do one of these too. I'll, I'll just wait, laugh. Wait till you go through this shit. You know what? Did you, wait till you go through this shit. Ant. Where did you have? And to, then you won't be making your jokes. Where did you have to electronically sign it? On your phone? Well, I don't know. Where did you actually sign? You don't something? sign it. What do you do? It's just it's 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 an electronic signature, but you're not actually signing. But then what do you do? You get the. Uh, do you type your you name? You get in? a valid user ID or password, and then that is your signature, I guess. I don't know. I had to deal with this for an hour and a half yesterday with a with a crying kid on my lap. Is that f Iraq? <laughs> is, is that After he woke up with an air horn in his face. <laughs> Wait till you have to go through this. You won't be. Is that something your jokes. I'm going to have to deal with? Yeah. Yeah. Within the week. Really? Do you have a user ID and password? I don't even know. For what an electronic the fuck that signature? Is. No, I got this is for what the government's doing. Got now. for Mr. Skin. <laughs> this is what the government's does that doing. That work? Now. <laughs> no. I'm sure there's some conspiracy behind this, right, Bill? I was watching the dog with the socks on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> we should all be watching that. Oh, the dog with the I'm socks just, on his feet. I'm just bringing nonsense. Yeah, looks, goose stepping. Yeah, just prancing down the street. Great. I like, like how they, keep, they can't stallion. think to just, if you just had one on it, would actually bite it. Yeah, yeah. yeah but you give them all four, it's just overwhelming. They just freak out. system overload. They don't know what to do. It their legs funny. move independent of their brain at that point. 
and they just can't function. Mm -hmm. Oh, the poor thing. I feel bad for animals. We used to do that. No, you didn't, Chip. You're lying. Yes, we did. You lie. We did it with cows. <laughs> cows. Put nails in their feet. <laughs> Chip makes it very mean-spirited. Right in their ankles. <laughs> they don't have ankles. They do. I don't know. They have fat locks. <laughs> cows <Or something>. are dumb. <laughs> How would you know that? I was raised around cows and horses. Were you? You were a farmer? No, I was a little equestrian kid because my dad wanted to be a cowboy at fucking 35 yes. years old. You might have seen the video of his father in Seattle uh, with the horse. <laughs> <laughs> he has a tragic end. <laughs> uh, I grew up around horses. Out, they don't have ankles? Out in Orange County, as a matter of fact. Yeah, there was horses down the street. I never knew anything about their bone structure. No? no? Yeah, I just know you grabbed a handful of grass. Hey! <laughs> hey, you fucking horse, get out. Yeah, fuck you too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just too fucking... People trust them too much. It's like, let me just get up on this fucking giant animal's oh, back yeah. and ride it. Yeah, yeah, that you had to break. And you were always getting fucked up. No matter what, the horse could have been a docile horse, but somehow... You were falling off of that. You knew if you rode horses more than just going to a rent string or, you know, once a fucking year, if you owned a horse and rode, you were fucking getting thrown off of that thing at some point in your life. And it's not fun. Oh, absolutely. Oh, the thing would see I like, something You know what I like? I like? I like baby wild animals and how people, they're so in the mindset that it's a baby <laughs> that they're not really looking at the size of it. That was that day when they brought in those baby tigers. The, the when tigers. you got scratched, they go, yeah, do you yeah. want to hold this thing? I'm like, you out of your fucking mind? I don't want to get scratched by a house cat. That thing's got this that, that refrigerator Perry-sized paw. <laughs> All right. Four of them already. Yeah. yeah. It fucking nailed me on my leg and my arm. Yeah, it hurt? Little fucking Fuck tiger. Yeah, it hurt, yeah. right? Yeah, it really left like a big fucking scratch down my arm. Or even they, they would cool. see like a little colt galloping around on the ground. Yeah. Oh, oh my look. god! If that thing kicks you, it's adorable. That it's little bigger than a Great leg. Dane. It's bigger than a Great Dane, but because it's not as big as a horse, people get in that mindset. It's a baby. And they see because it's a baby, but the muscle on the leg is like Tyson's arm yeah. in his prime. <laughs> the fucking one kick, and you are done. <laughs> I got into an argument with DeRosa yesterday. I'm crashing with him, right? And about orangutans. <laughs> we were watching Cannonball Run Part 2. Tony Danz is in the back of a limo really driving, and they got an orangutan driving, and, and Don Knotts comes, pulls him over. Great movie. <laughs> Don Knotts pulls him over with Tim Conway, and they get into this throwing shit at the orangutan, and it's throwing shit back at him. And I was like, Joe, I wouldn't do that fucking scene. What are you talking about? And I go, dude, I'm, I wouldn't fucking miss it. Because you're an idiot. Oh, I said he was an idiot, because we were saying that... Uh, I like the he way you immediately that, gave Joe the horrible part. Joe called me a piece of shit. Oh, wait, that was me. That was me, yeah. <laughs> No, he was saying, he goes, no, he goes, only chimps do that shit. I go, dude, are you out of your fuck? Look at that thing's oh, fucking arms. Oh, my God, look at Danny. Oh, here it is right here. He finds the clip in a second. What? Look, look, watch. <laughs> Danny found another language version. Which is funny. Yeah, right there. Look at how I just grabbed your head. Fuck it's that. Don Knotts. That's probably the, the same orangutan from every which way to lose. Totally. Do you know how strong those fucking things are? It's a, it's that's crazy. what I was trying to tell him. I said, if that thing wanted to, it would rip your arm out of the, your yeah. sock like you were made out of Play-Doh. And they just beat you with it. It's the same yeah. with a dog, though. <laughs> beat you with your own arm. A pit bull, you have a pet pit bull, they can they just rip your fucking arm off. Or, but this or is the handle. difference, though. That's a domesticated animal. It's an animal that could be domesticated. This is a fucking wild animal. That's, that's the exact argument the that he brought up. Look at it. It's, it's fucking smacked him in shit. the head. And now, how do you know this thing isn't going to get amped up as you're having your little karate fight with it? All of a sudden, <laughs> it just reverts back to its jungle behavior. Tony Danza and Mel Tillis, by the way, are in the back of that truck. Tim uh, Conway, Don Knotts. Come on, Don Knotts funny every time. Don Knotts is doing it like a karate fight with the orangutan. Wow, this is God, great this comedy. Fucking stinks. The only way I would do that scene is if the trainer had a gun to that orangutan's <laughs> head. <laughs> just, and, and would CG, have used it in a CGI, CGI, CGI uh, I, uh, whatever the fuck it is, just get it out of there. <laughs> a green gun. It's just yeah. a green fucking, painted it green. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> there's no way. Take it out and post. <laughs> this has all the classic laughs. You know, cheap laughs of a late 70s, early 80s. They have not only an old lady giving the finger, they also have a monkey giving the finger. Uh, giving the finger. That is funny. 
Nothing funnier than an old lady going up yours. Yeah. Oh, then she did. Yeah, she did the fuck you one, and uh, then she drove through the the, the the window of a dealership. Of course. Oh, hysterical. It's a bad movie. Bad. Well, Cannibal oh. Run two answered all those <laughs> oh. all those questions from Cannibal <laughs> Run one. That's bad, Bill. Oh my God. Well, first of all, it's directed by a stuntman, so there you go. <laughs> Hal Needham. I don't know who it is. Hal. I think it's a Hal Needham. But production. they they actually wrote a Cannonball Run song, and there's one montage. I swear to God, it's like 15 minutes of them just playing this song, desperately trying to make it a 90 minute movie. <laughs> Just cannonball, cannonball, and they're showing every fucking car on an individual shot going over a bridge. It's like, I got it. There's a race. Cannonball, cannonball. It's like, are you trying to say they didn't have enough material, Bill? Oh, yeah. Oh, they needed oh, 90 minutes great. to get it in theaters. It oh, Burt Reynolds was just starting to get fat, so they kept, because Joe and goes. had the wig on, right? I didn't oh, yeah. even know they made a second one. And Joe goes, why do no they have idea. him dressed like Han Solo? It's like, because they're trying to hide his gut. <laughs> they got like this vest over him. <laughs> Shirley McLean, right before that. she got old. Cannonball, still... cannonball. I can't, I can't remember, it's, it's fucking horrific. <laughs> and, and they're just showing the cars. <laughs> you should see the cast, though. It's ridiculous. Telly Savalas. Wow. Dean Martin. They got everyone for that. Yeah. One. Uh, I was like, Burt Reynolds Sammy is... Davis Jr. Dom DeLuise. Dom, of course, is in there. Yeah, Dean Martin. And a <sighs> bunch of cars. Cannonball. Burt Reynolds. Yeah. Oh, this is the song. Yeah. I think this is it. Yeah. Come on. Wait, it's a car movie. Sammy Davis Jr. A couple of wise guys behind us. Mm. Slow oh, down, let's see how bold we Jamie Farr. <laughs> Jamie Farr? That's a couple of great looking chicks. Woo! So much for boredom. Let's nail them. <laughs> Cannonball! <laughs> how, how bad is that looping? You can just hear them in the recording studio. Yeah. They're supposed to be in the car. <laughs> yeah, there's no sort of ambiance that you're in a car. No. Cannonball! 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Changing the sign like that. Uh, Isn't she from the Duke of Hazard? Oh, yeah. And Shirley McLean. Everybody. Shirley McLean gets the end. Wow. From sea to shine and Cannonball. They speed up the footage. That was so badly done. <laughs> it's like 1920s footage. They're speeding up the footage to make it look like they're going faster. Yeah. Oh, shit. That was done really bad. They cannot run the radio. Charlie, you got a hot one. Head your way. You'll see it in about three minutes. In alphabetical order, Susan Anton. A couple of great looking chicks. Catherine Bach. Yeah, they didn't even try to make it sound like they were in a car. Oh, no, it's terrible. And none of this makes sense. They're, they're driving a white Lamborghini. Now the cops are coming after them, so for so. They're in the middle of fucking nowhere, driving 155 miles an hour, evidently. Yeah. Right? Sid Caesar, Foster Brooks. This is, the, this is what we're talking about here. Jackie Chan. Wow. Young Jackie Chan, yeah. I don't know, it's, it's time to get aboard. Yeah, yeah they're using the old it's the going, greatest going, thing I've ever seen. That, that, cannonball, they, cannonball. They end up pulling into a construction site, and without having to talk to anybody, all the construction workers start spraying the car, and the white comes off and it turns red. And then, uh, then they get there away. You go. Yeah, I'll look at that. that. Yeah, right, just right. that classic. What if it would have fucking rained? This <laughs> is stupid. This is stupid. It's really, it's really, yeah, it's really childish to pick apart a movie as shitty as this, but it's fun. Yeah, how did they know that they had to do that? Frank Sinatra was in this? Yeah. yeah. What? Joe Theismann? Who did Joe, what what woman did Frank beat in this one? <laughs> <laughs> Star studded. Yeah. Star studded. Abe Vagoda. Abe Vagoda. They have wow. like three out of four guys in the mob scene were all from The Godfather. You can hear them bitching about their agents in between takes. <laughs> cannonball, cannonball. But so we gotta get this Burt Reynolds. Uh. You won't think I've been drinking. Oh my God, that's oh, just the man. intro. It's gone on forever. It's endless. Hey, uh, we got Ira doing more celebrity uh, tweets. Wow. Oh yeah, I saw another I one. Was, I was just hypnotized by I'm that. I'm trying clip. to move on because we oh, got to take horrific. a break. Then we got to get Mark Marin in yeah, here. Yeah, I have a Cialis rod. Generally. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> music did it. Cannonball. Cannonball. <laughs> All right, yeah, get it out of your head. I challenge you. No, it ain't going to happen. Cannonball. Hey, our new friend Ira, the weatherman from Jay Thomas's show. We love the guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, he comes in on Fridays usually. He's the best. New bit where he reads uh, tweets of very famous people. And I believe he's doing more of uh, 50 Cent here, maybe. Fitty. Fitty. Look, Fitty. Fitty. Yeah, he's doing 50 Cent uh, t actual Ira. tweets. Reading actual tweets from Fitty. And now, Ira the Weatherman's celebrity Twitter readings. On today's episode, ghetto philosopher 50 Cent. If you're a girl that would ask your man to wait with you till your period goes away, you're going to lose that man. My advice, suck a dick, LOL. This has been another celebrity Twitter reading from Ira the Weatherman. L LOL. 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 <laughs> People That's, tweet shit like that? Yes, they do. Uh, yeah, yeah, the bigger the celebrity, the dumber the tweets, it seems. Kanye's good, though. Oh, is he? Yeah. Kim Kardashian wrote yesterday, insomnia. That was a... Mm -hmm. Yes. I guess she she what reading her insomnia. tweets cures. <laughs> Boring fucking fat ass whore. Who would I love to eat her ass after a good shite? Ooh, really? Yeah. yeah, you like to get in there? Yeah, she's, after she's a good juicy. shite. <laughs> And then we had Imus talking about us a little bit today. Uh, Indirectly, because yeah. our, our pal Rob Bartlett works on that show. Yeah. yeah. I guess he was late today, so Imus was a little pissed. Oh, why we're not on the radio in Washington. So, uh-huh. We're funny. not ever going to be number one anywhere. I mean, that's not voice. the kind of show this is. But why wouldn't you want us on if you... Yeah. I mean, well, I heard about a you can sell the hell out of it. And just for the prestige. There you yeah. go. You might actually get to meet me. Yeah. Please. Well, that would be the downside, but... Yeah. You just get to work? Okay, here's the deal. Yes. If you're ever late again, there you go. call Opie and Anthony or Howard. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'll go back there and get busy. All right. That's just outrage, isn't it? He sounds yeah, terrible at this. What? That's rough. How's that blind? That's rough. I don't if mean you're no... ever late again, <laughs> call O and A. I don't mean Oh, a... my or do God. You, do you think that's what's going to happen? You know something? How long has he been with us? You know something? 25 years. You know what I think? What? I think that's going to happen. <laughs> no. I miss that. It's really bad. I'm depressed now. Ah. Throwing my oh, late you are. <laughs> late you are. <laughs> You're going to have to. Oh, and then you will go to. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sounds like Yoda, Ant. Like, ha ha, Chip. <laughs> You're going to have to update your I miss impression. I uh, can't do the old uh, yeah. I miss anymore. It's, uh, uh, oh. <laughs> 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 I'm in the morning program, it is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Call us your will. <laughs> Late you are not again, you will be. Or you will end up on the Obi and Anthony or Howard show, you will. Oh, huh. <laughs> I am not, I miss you look for, no. <laughs> oh, fired, you will be. You will be. Aw, that sucks. I'm in his voice. I hope he just has I got a cold or something. Hate to think, you know. That's more than a cold. Yeah. It's the new Imus voice. Maybe he's got MRSA. <laughs> of the larynx. Are you glad we cleaned the studio for you oh, today, Bill? Absolutely thrilled. You're yeah. all in with this MRSA thing and where you should avoid shit. it? Yeah. I am antivirus. Yeah. Yeah, fucking infectious. So is this company. <laughs> God damn, Jimmy, man. <laughs> it's not going to get better than that. We'll Touché. be back. Old school red hot chili peppers. Yeah. Got Bill Burr in studio, BillBurr.com. The big plug for Bill. Comedy Central special, the second, uh, second one, Bill. Yes, for Comedy Central. Uh, Sunday night at 11 p.m. Check it out. And then it'll be released on uh, CD and DVD October 5th. On Comedy Central. What happened? I uh, did I, I say Comedy Central? On yeah. Comedy Central. Comedy Central, Bill Burr, Sunday night at 11 o'clock. Thank you. And with that, we also say hi to Mark Marin in studio. What's up, Mark? Hello, fellas. Hello. How's it going? It's Good. going. It's nice to see you. Is it? I'm, yeah. It's been a while. I'm a, I don't even know how long it's been. How long has it been? A few months? Because I don't know. Yeah, you know, when you like don't live months. here, I don't talk to you enough. I don't, I don't know what the hell I talked about last time. I got, I got some problems, but I'm all right. Some problems. What do you mean you got problems? Nothing well, bad. Right, here's where here's where I'm at. I'm on the I'm on the fucking subway. I'm on the fucking subway reading this book. 
Uh, letting, letting go, go, go of, of anger. anger. Oh, boy. I'm you, a guy you don't sitting be on a subway. To, you don't want to be next to that guy. <laughs> but yeah, but I'm reading this book, and I know people are looking at me, and I and I think they're judging me, and there's part of me that wants to go, what the fuck are you looking at? You know I just it? started it. I, yeah. I just started it. I think it, dep- it definitely depends on how far yeah. into the book you are. <laughs> the, the, I, looked at that, I almost bought is. that off the of Kindle. I just didn't did buy it. Did you really? It. Yeah, but I had a problem with my Wait. account. Yes, I, anger Wait. issues are terrible. So you know where I got this? So you threw your Kindle against the wall? Can I ask Mark something? Is this a prop, or are you really reading the book? Let me tell you, I'm going so out. Huge. I'm going out with a 27 year old lunatic, yeah. and I thought, <laughs> after all these years of just fucking girls spitefully uh-huh. at my ex wife and not connecting with them at all, that I was somehow or another that this anger issue that destroyed my second marriage was gone. That I had outgrown it. Right. So as soon as I meet a woman <laughs> who's who I open my heart to, right? Because because it's completely chaotic. If I meet a woman uh-huh. and it's somewhere in the first five minutes she says to me, "My father's a fucking asshole." Uh-huh. I go, "I'm your god. <laughs> I, I can yeah. be your father, and you can have <laughs> sex with me." It, but all right, so this is that girl. <laughs> so my heart oh, wait, opens can, up. Can, I gotta slow you down. What? what? Just a little bit, because you came in here a couple I'm months sorry, ago. I'm sorry, man. And this was a, a fan or something. Remember? Yeah, you told this a is story, that one. And you were one. in love, and everything was going pretty I well. I am, but this is what, what it looks fuck? like. This is what love looks like. That's what love looks like. This is what love looks like with me. Reading a book on anger and <laughs> yes. horrible. And the the sad thing is, a fan sent me this book. I get this book in my PO box. Letting go of anger. The card just says this. This book helped me a lot. And th- see, it breaks it down into 11 kinds of anger. So the card oh. just says, this helped me a lot. I'm shame-based anger. <laughs> oh. that's, what, that's what the guy wrote. Did you find out what kind of anger you were? All want? of them. You're every single one. <laughs> <laughs> Can you loan me that afterwards? Dude, if you read it, you're not going to have an act. It. Yeah, then you <laughs> The act is over. <laughs> but, so, God, you, we should all what? walk around New York City with that book. You would stay out of trouble. Well, well, you know, who's going to fuck with you if you have a letting go of anger book hanging from your back pocket. I want to read the dedication to my family who I beat for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> to, yeah. to my to family, family, fuck them. <laughs> to, my, no, to my family, sorry about that. <laughs> I, it's, I don't know, it's just gotten out of hand. I've got, I, as soon it? as I get this girl, what, it's what, just gotten out of the, hand. What is this girl doing to you? I don't really know what the hell it is, but it just seems that uh, you know when I meet somebody and I let you know I let them in a little bit, my heart just becomes this fist. You know, I just like and I just want to keep punching them with this is with my heart like, fist. Is, is, uh, my heart, yeah, <laughs> hit it with your heart fist. Yeah, that's it. You ever heard <laughs> that song? Yeah, so I'm just like yeah, I'm, I'm, la- I'm just lashing out. She's driving me nuts. She, you know, she's chaos. She like I, as I, I learn more about her. I don't know if you've dated this woman, but the woman whose room looks like a nest. Like, literally, there's just clothing everywhere. <laughs> that, it's just a bed covered in clothes, and there's yeah, shit all over on the, the floor, floor. right? No, not just on the floor. There's <laughs> food, food cartons on the bed, and the only thing that makes sense on that bed is her vagina. Just That's, <laughs> that's the only thing. The rest is just chaos. And, uh, chaos around the vagina. I, I just don't have the patience for it. I'm not that. I'm 46 years old. I'm not that, like, you know, this shit. Like, I want to fuck in a restaurant. I'm like, I'm too old for that shit, and I don't even know how you would do that. <laughs> Be sticky. You know? Not, not, not the good way. Yeah, yeah. I'm, just, I'm tired. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm a little tired. I didn't ever think I Does would say that. Does it bug you, like, the, the clothes all over and stuff? Do you go, like, I clean this shit up? Or, no, or... but that's the anger. You can't say that because Why I don't want angry it? at that But, but does it even bother you, though? Yeah. The point not really, because I'm not living there. Oh, so then who this... gives a shit? Why do you care? You got some OCD? Like, well, maybe maybe, maybe so in my head. In my head. <laughs> <laughs> that, that I think, like, maybe this one, I'll have a baby with her. You know? Oh, oh no. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Dude, I'm, I'm every kind of anger in this place. I that, that's that's so. Bill, read through the chapters. Are they will you? All right. Or the uh, actual anger. Yeah, I want to hear these. All right. Uh, sneaky anger, showing anger by doing nothing, just sitting there simmering. I've seen those. I've seen those. You right. have all of these. Anger that's turned inward, becoming the target of your own anger. I've done that. Yep. Um, Sudden anger. This one I don't think anybody has. Blowing up without warning. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one in this room. No, no, I have that. <laughs> Why is everyone looking at me? I, I'm going to take a break. Shame-based <laughs> anger. Fun with shame-based. This. Yeah, turning shame into rage. Done that. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's, called, too, that's, that's called getting heckled you, when <laughs> even you knew the joke stunk too. <laughs> uh, that's exactly uh, it. Deliberate <laughs> anger. Becoming mad to get what you want. Mm-hmm. I never use that one. I've done that my entire career. You are a horrible <laughs> person. <laughs> it's my career in comedy. Um, I can't even read the words. What do you mean? 
Habitual? Excite, excitatory oh. anger. That sounds Getting good. Getting anger, angry because you can't read what the fucking word is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, habitual hostility. That's look, getting look. high on anger, by the way. That's a big one, Bill, that you just oh, read. Wow, Getting really? high on Getting anger. High on anger. Really? It is a rush. Yeah, absolutely. That, well, that's, that, that's the uh, issue. They, and that's that uh, the problem I'm having. All right. I'm just, so we know, let me blow through the rest of these. Habitual hostility, looking for reasons to get anger. Paranoia, yeah. feeling attacked by everyone. Moral anger, defending one's beliefs and values. I never do that. Is this oh, a, my this God. Is, this Resentment. This sounds like your CD credits. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is the track list of my next CD. Long-lasting anger about old injuries. Oh, I don't hold on to shit. Conclusion, letting go of anger. Yes. Uh, Conclusion, how to hide a body. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about I, anybody else, but I think this book just changed Bill's wife. I think you're going to get this book, aren't you? Yep. Uh, they had the I little quiz that. at the front. Bill, don't do I it. I just put yes don't on all of them. Yes is all of them, It's right? all yeses except for like two. <laughs> well, well, I'm annoyed by the quiz. Wait, give I us am. some questions. Uh, I wanna, let's take oh, the it's anger styles anger quiz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beliefs. Anger oh, styles. Okay. So they break it into styles of three questions each. Uh, so I guess. No. This <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, the the anger avoidance questions. Uh, answer anger style quiz one. I I try never to get angry. Yes. No. Absolutely not. I get I, really nervous when others are angry. No. 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 I'm feeling yeah. I'm doing something bad when I get angry. No. no. See, no. so none of you guys are really uh, yeah. anger avoidance. No, no, I, I'm that's I'm crazy. I'm exactly the opposite of everything you just you guys are. were saying. You avoid yeah. anger? Yeah, yeah. I don't like anger. I avoid it. I, I get nervous. Really? When anger is around in any way, so shape, just or form. A, you're you a quietly I'm a pussy. faggot. <laughs> Wait, you don't avoid anger though. I a faggot. You talk about taxes with you? You don't get avoiding anger. Oh. You're fucking hunting it out with a fucking. Yeah, but, they, but, yeah, but they, they talk about justified anger that's in here. Like, that's like the belief thing. Like Jimmy pointed out. <laughs> anger at no improv skills, chapter 12. I should write that fag. The belief anger, that's like like preaching my bullshit. Yeah. That, like, if somebody doesn't see my point of view, as I'm really believing that I'm making valid points, I'll start getting, like, worked up. But so, I don't know if it's that anger should just or be called, passion. That's barroom anger. Barroom anger. Yeah. Well, that's every Dude, I'm telling you, they got satellites. But, <laughs> they're fucking looking at us. They, but that's right. It says that there is healthy anger. It doesn't say you can't be angry. But I, uh, the thing that yeah. the thing I do, though, is, like, I know, I don't know, do you, are you a rage person? Like, if I start getting angry and I know it's coming, there's that moment where you're like, fuck, dude, just don't do it. You know, it's like, don't just, put me over the edge. Yeah, yeah, just let's just move past no. it. And in my mind, I'm saying, and that's like it's not that big a deal it's not that big a deal next thing you know i'm like what the fuck is wrong with you and then it's over then you've done the damage my, my type of anger goes i i could take a lot of fucking shit before i blow up and start like yelling and cursing and, and that stuff i'm and and the prime example would be waltz <laughs> in the godfather when he's like Tom, you yeah, should have yeah. told me who sent you. Yeah. Hey, I have something to eat. Yeah. And he's just, as he's talking, he's, he's just like, getting you, more you, and more pissed. Now, you get the hell out of here. You, Tom didn't say a word. Yeah, yeah, you, Tom's just eating. You guinea mix. And he's telling his story. <laughs> and he's just getting more pissed as time went on. Yeah. That is exactly what I'll no, do. No, you'd get mad for the reason Walsh did in the book, that there was a 12-year-old oh, up in the room yes. waiting. And he went to the director's cut. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is, it, what, is that true? Yeah. Jack yeah, Walsh. Walsh is a, when that party that Tom, that uh, that, that uh, Robert Duvall goes to to first meet him, yeah, when he yeah, goes, yeah. I, I admire your picture very much. He was re redeeming a starlet, a pony, and in the book they reveal she was twelve, and he was, and she was crying up in a bedroom. So when Tom was leaving, he looked up in the bedroom and realized that this guy had fucked that twelve-year-old. Yeah. Jesus, kind of made it a little easier. That, that makes it a different what? character. Yeah, yeah. no <laughs> kidding. <laughs> and Lula, a, she was the greatest <laughs> piece of ass I ever had, and she had no pubic hair, and I had them all over the <laughs> nursery. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Got it out. Sure did. <laughs> so the anger book's helping you, Mark. Obviously, that's good. Uh, well, it's helped good me deal. a little bit. I, you know, I, I did have, uh, like, I'm just surprised that it's all back because I really thought I, you know, I'd gotten past some of it, but I think I was just stuffing it down, mm. and I, to the point where, you know, I, I seem to understand. I, I think, um, like, I was at, I was at Delta going to Atlanta a few weeks ago, and I was on a TSA line for fucking two hours, and I'd never been on one that long. Oh, yeah. Shit. And they were understaffed, and you know, it gets to that point where you're like, just let the fucking terrorists on. I don't care. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm <laughs> yeah, willing yeah, to gamble. It's not go. my plane. You, you know what I mean? And and then, like, 
I'm just starting to get very hyper aware of my thought processes because actually Patrice brought this up. He kept telling me like when I was talking to him, I'm in my head too much. So now I'm like hyper aware of what the fuck is oh, going what, on in my head. Oh, what's going on in your head? Uh, you got to get rid of that shit. Well, no, but you, how can you live in the pre Everyone's like, you know, live in the present, live in the present. That's like, so that's like you want to be a retarded person? I mean, you can't. What does <laughs> being in the now mean? Like, ah, I mean, what does it mean? <laughs> my, a lot of my anger is I anticipate fuckhead moves. You make other, shit up, other in other words. And no, but it, it happens, usually ends up happening. Like that whole security line, I was waiting for you to be like, yeah. And then the person in front of me is complaining about how long it takes. And then they wait to begin their disrobing process and computer taking out thing yeah, until yeah. they're there. Then, they, oh, how many bins do yeah, I need? Yeah. It's like, oh, rubberneckers. I want to fucking shoot all of them. <laughs> Have you ever seen a body? Yeah. Is there ever a headless torso right. laying no, in the road? Sometimes. It's the most inane... But here's what happened there at the line, yeah. though. I literally took two hours. I'm about to miss my plane, and I'm pissed, and I'm at the bins. And the TSA guy comes up to me, taps me on the shoulder. I turn around. There's a wheelchair guy there. Yeah. And he's like, do you mind if we... And there's yes, part... I mind. Right. There's part of me that a good person would have just said, oh, of course not. Just what I mean. But then, then I'm thinking, like, is that a real wheelchair guy? <laughs> like, what, what's the credibility? Because I've seen guys get up out of the wheelchair and walk through... The fucking security. Yeah. So I'm literally saying that. What kind of asshole am I? Is that a real wheelchair guy? And then he fucking gets up and walks. Oh, you're just one of the lazy ones. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Why should, should you miss your flight? His old turnip legs. Didn't wanna... <laughs> Fuck him. Wait in line. I treat those uh, lines like a. Like, it's like a fucking game show. Yeah. I can't do things fast enough. And just I don't know why I get all fucking tense and nervous at the uh, at the security thing. Not because anything's going on, but I can't work that quickly it's the shoes it's this do i have something in my pocket is the thing gonna beep when i go through do i have my ticket where's my shit i want to keep an eye on the gotta take the laptop out and then getting everything back together after it comes out you don't want too much shit you, you, piling up behind you, you so can, i just freak the fuck out yeah you this gotta is move what you it do. there's a process we travel a yeah lot. You, you take all your metal all the metals you stick them in the jacket you're gonna take off right mm -hmm. so you got that you stick that in the bin you got your computer bag ready if to go out warm you leave your shoes on till the last second because the floor is fucking Disgusting. dirty Thing, so right. at the last second, but you take your shoes, you put those in first. Shoes come out first, you put those fuckers on. Yeah, and then then, I, then, then your computer. So then you right, got that in your hand, then the computer bag comes, you stick that Jesus. in, and then, you, yeah. Well, I find a lead by fucking example. That and these morons. That is good. I sat That's down on brilliant. the benches. I sat yeah, down on the benches. Yes, it is. It's called yeah, intelligent thought. I'm just as fast, but I am a mess. I'm just, ah, I'm grabbing shit. I'm limping over to the fucking bench to sit down to push everything back. Pockets turned inside oh, out. Just like, I look like I've been mugged. Yeah. Like, I, just like awful. And then you realize tornado. after all the stress, you've saved a minute. Yeah. Yeah. It never well, takes that much longer. I, yesterday, yesterday I went to the bench. Collectively, the whole line. Look, I'm getting angry Fuck right once now. I'm there. Once yeah. I'm there, they, I'll peruse a book while I'm there. Fuck them. <laughs> once I'm in the bench, they can go fuck them others. And I'm 20 people behind him going, look at this motherfucker with this yeah. book. I'm Kenny Casual. Uh, always. I, I had uh, I had broken up with this girl by the time I got to the airport yesterday at 5 in the morning. I break up with her every other day. You know, so that's the kind of relationship we're having. That's where you're, you're just like, fuck you, get out. And then about a half hour you, later, you're like, I right, come back and fuck me. And then like. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, and then like the it's day. volatile. Well, it's volatile. It's completely ungrounded. But, you know, that kind of sex is the best kind of sex in the world. That kind of, you know, like I, I used to always think that because I used to fight with my ex-wife that the kind of sex you have on a pat, like a pile of clothing that has been taken out of a dresser to be put in a suitcase to leave you is the best <laughs> kind of sex that you can have because, because everything depends on it. But I, I keep breaking up with her and, and she keeps breaking up with me and it's just ridiculous. So I get to the airport at, the only reason I'm bringing this up, it wasn't just to, to derail the conversation. I get to the airport at 4.35 in the morning. I'm exhausted. I'm punching. She, she was supposed to pick me up and she didn't because I knew she'd not wake up because she's on her pile of clothing and she couldn't find her <laughs> alarm clock. And and I get to the airport and you know when you're on those really early flights and everybody looks like they just woke up and there's something vulnerable and weird about it? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you kind of feel like you just had a slumber party with everybody who works in the place. You're like, hey, how you doing? You know, and, <laughs> and, I, That's funny. and I just woke it up and like, I just broken up with this girl because she didn't pick me up and I had to drive to the fucking airport and I barely made it and I, wo I go through the security thing and I, for the first time ever I didn't race to put my, to try to beat my trays. I actually sat on the bench 
bench. Uh, and I'm sitting on the bench. I'm putting my shoes on. This woman sits next to me. And it's that weird waking consciousness. Like, I'm looking at her, and, like, her hair still looks like she had just gotten up. And she looks kind of soft and vulnerable. And I'm thinking, I could go with her. Like, I could live with, like, literally, I'm at the airport. I've been broken up with the girl for a half an hour. I'm like, I'm just going to go with this lady with the matted hair. She seems really soft and nice. And then I get on the, and I get on the plane. I never think, uh, th like, I think I'm better than uh, uh, some people. You know, I, I think, like, uh, I'm beyond sexism and all this shit. But, like. Like there are these moments that happen where I realize I'm I'm just as I'm fucked up. Like I'm on the plane. The plane takes off, dude, and we're in the air. And the pilot comes on. Hi, this is your pilot. Uh, we'll be traveling at uh, thirty thousand. And it's a woman. The pilot oh, is a woman. Yeah, but yeah. I had that moment where instinctively I went, oh, is she, "Can she do this?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do. It's like, oh god. Uh, like, is there a man up there to like, help her? Those, the... Aren't those controls heavy? Yeah. Like, can she, <laughs> I feel like such an asshole. Is she gonna freak out her emotions? Oh my god. <laughs> She's putting her lipstick on. She fucking broadsides a barn. <laughs> Stupid whore, pay attention. <laughs> For Christ's sake, get a hold of yourself. <laughs> yeah, you of right. <laughs> I'm sort of ashamed of myself for thinking that. Jesus. I'm ashamed of you if you're not getting off that plane. <laughs> I want something with a cock and balls up there. <laughs> you know, it's it's not a cock and balls. Pit, is it? You know how funny that would. You know how funny that would be if you just stood up the second you heard the voice, like, yeah. oh no way. We're already in the. We're already in the. I ain't having no broad. Yeah, we're already me off in the, the air, so it would have been really weird. Yes. Land this fucking plane. <laughs> Jesus. You should yell out. You didn't say it was a woman. Yeah. yeah. Is there a guy up there? And then you should have at least said, please just tell me, what color is she? <laughs> oh, God. I had that happen, too, recently, the racial profiling thing, which I always think I'm beyond and above. That, yeah. that was fucking embarrassing. Because I, I, was, I was coming back from Ireland. It, it was like I'd done the 12-hour jump, and we were in Chicago. and flying Chicago to L.A., and I'm exhausted. I've been up 16 hours. Oh, I'm starting to hallucinate. Yeah. So I go back to the bathroom, and there's a guy there that's a questionable tone of brown. I didn't know. It wasn't one I was necessarily uh, familiar with, and I decided in that moment that it was probably Palestinian. He was probably Palestinian or Egyptian. <laughs> and I'm standing there at the bathroom. I swear to God this happened, and I really fight this shit. And I know that I'm like, dude, what are the odds? I mean, come on, just you're being a fucking racial racist idiot but he he looks at me i look at him he doesn't go to the bathroom he starts walking in the front of the plane i'm following him like i have to take action <laughs> you me, it's take, a big plane you gotta be out. right Die. so i'm following him and then i get to where the flight attendants area is and and i'm panicked because you know, in my mind there's shit going down he keeps walking to the front of the plane and he disappears into the front first class cockpit area and i must have had that look like we're in fucking trouble because a flight attendant taps looks at me and goes are you okay sir and i'm like what and and i ha and i look at her and he, she's like are you okay i'm like i just there's a situation happening in my mind right now who the fuck uh -oh. says that? There's a situation uh -oh. happening in my mind. You don't want to say that on a plane. Right. So I'm uh -oh. like, and she goes, well, say that on the ground. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So she looks at me like, okay, could you just take your seat? Everything's fine. And I sit down, and here's what I think is happening. I have a completely fear-based imagination. I think this guy is in the cockpit with specially treated toxic gloves, that, and he's now touched the necks of the pilot and the co-pilot, and then they're going, ah, and foam is coming out of their mouth, and he's pushing him aside, he's in the cockpit, and he's going to fly the fucking plane into something right yeah that's what's going on in my head that's the situation in my head and i'm panicking a little bit even though i know this can't be happening but i'm committed to it and then all three flight attendants come up because she had obviously gone back and told them they all come up to me and go is everything okay sir and i realized holy shit i'm the problem now you're the problem yeah, now i'm the fucking freak and i'm and i said it again there's a situation uh, going out of my mind right now and and I'm just I'm a little panicky about it and they're all surrounding me and then I see the dude walking back you know the guy who I thought was now flying the plane just walks back he's just taken around and at that moment I realized that I I had lost the war on terror yeah, I had you, lost you were the wow. guy was the yes and no though because I'm like it's like you don't think that when something is happening, you're like, why the fuck did I just well, like, well, common you sense? You don't say it, though, to right, the that's right. flight attendant until you hear, like, Allah Akbar and some bashing over the door. Okay. Yeah, so you could have said it a little bit, but I'm worried that that guy who looks Palestinian in my mind is going to try to take over the plane. Right. Yeah. But I didn't want to. I didn't want to commit to it. I didn't yeah. want to. Yeah. So I, when I was sitting down, because I was sitting right in front of the flight attendants area, you were movie was, vague. Yeah, yeah, where they, yeah. Where yeah. they purposely <laughs> are vague in movies, so yeah. the guy goes, "What?" Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I was holding onto a metal top that I was spinning <laughs> to make sure. But uh, but so when I, I was when they were landing, the flight attendant was facing me in that seat, like I was right there. Yeah. And she goes, "You feeling better?" I'm like, "Yeah, I just had a situation in my mind." Again, I said it. And she goes, "That happens to all of us now." 
And I'm like, oh, oh maybe she, she knew. knew. Maybe she huh? knew. She knew exactly. She knew. She following because she was probably looking at the guy coming up too. I, yeah, it was just ridiculous. And you're following, so she's probably like, "There's two of them coming." <laughs> but right, we got two. I think. He, I think <laughs> you, know, you, you were his fucking he's accomplice. A, he's, yeah. he's the other to one. Them. You were the Chechnyan white one. Who's <laughs> yeah, they're really brutal. We have those. Like I was on a, a I, we, I had a black pilot on a plane, and that shouldn't bother me. But I'm like, uh -huh. why do I care? You know, if I'm on a plane that's being stolen. I mean, it shouldn't have bothered me. Oh, <laughs> See? Uh, I did, I, I, I made it yeah. even more racist. I'm flying out of Tuskegee. <laughs> <laughs> How things were you guys' relationships? Everything all right? Yeah. Got any, yeah. Nothing, sure. Everything's good? I almost I had a just... physical incident uh, With her? Oh, With her? Yeah. We didn't, though. Yeah. So you're Almost, the same as... Yeah. What? Now, okay, yeah, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're oh, the yeah. same as me? Yeah. You're a, a, a rageful <laughs> fuck or it's, what? It's frightening. It's It scares me how angry I get. Over, over nothing. what? Nothing. nothing. It doesn't it's a scare high... me with his Hulk sneakers that he has on. <laughs> <laughs> they are green bottom shoes. <laughs> Hulk sneakers. And you can't stop it, right? No. Now why? I don't want to stop it. What was the problem where you don't want to say? It's just, it's genuine, general was... bullshit arguing, misunderstanding. It's, it's like what Mel Gibson was Could your feelings get hurt? Part of it, or it could be because I'm being a baby, or it could be because I'm not getting... It could be one of anything. It's an excuse to go there because it's a control thing. Wow. And it's safe, and it, it keeps it... I'm afraid of dullness. Like, I don't like dullness or boredom. But wait, let me ask you why something. You, why are you on I, this show? <laughs> <laughs> I'm contributing to the dullness. <laughs> or in a relationship. I'm, <laughs> can, can I ask you something, honestly? Because, yes. like, like, I'm, like I, I went back to fucking therapy because of this. And it's weird when you go to therapy, like, and you're 46. Because, like, I know what my issues are. And you walk in to therapy, and I'm like, look... I'm probably, I'm not going to be able to unfuck myself, all right? Well, let's be honest. I can't be idealistic. I mean, you can't fix me. I'm more than halfway done with this life thing. Can we temper the shit that's destroying my life a bit? Can we just tune up a little bit? And they're looking, she's looking at me like, I, I guess. All right. Very help logical, me out. though. Yeah. But, like, with me, the, the anger thing is, is when, when, let me, do you, do you feel better when she cries? No. In the, in the moment that she does. No. I feel nothing. Like, oh, what, I'm, 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 wow. I'm a fucking, I'm a sociopath when I argue. I almost feel like it's a movie. And her emotions, what I'm saying, <laughs> mean nothing. Really? They wow. mean nothing. Wow. wow. Literally, I can say horrendous stuff. Well, and this is any girl I've ever dated. It doesn't matter to me how they feel. It's, I'm disconnected from it. And, and it's like, cause I'm a loving guy. So no matter what she says, you don't give up. Like, it, you're, you're it, hurting me. It's like, I don't care if I'm hurting you. You're Jimmy garbage. immediately thinks you're, <laughs> you're trying you're to... Me. Let go of my arm. It Jimmy's thinking you're trying to steal the scene when you start crying. <laughs> Dude, it doesn't, fucking upstage me. I'm going to go bigger. It doesn't feel real. <laughs> It's not that wow. because you're in that elevated anger place. It doesn't feel real. And then when they get really upset and you finally come down from your anger, you're like, "Are we okay? Everything good?" I mean, you're like guys, <laughs> uh, like wow. I do that all the time, where where you you get angry and then once you, it's it's like coming. Like once the anger is done, you're sort of like, "All right, can we move on with our day?" And she's a broken mess. <laughs> Holy shit! I've actually I, felt I as imagine. fights have happened. This is with every girl I've ever dated. Like I felt like as they were crying, I'm like, "You're supposed to be feeling something." You should not be so disconnected from this. Like I know it's wrong. Yeah, yeah. The person exactly. is crying. You feel, uh, you feel yeah. You, but it's it's literally just it's uh, it's a total disconnect. It isn't that I don't care, but it's because I'm not spiritual. That's all it is. It's simple. I mean, you know, it's corny, but it's better to understand than be understood. And I don't want to understand. I want to be heard, and that's it. And go I fuck don't yourself. I find it spiritual. Like I just feel horribly guilt ridden the second a girl pulls that. Crying stuff. Crying pulls it. Because the of, second a girl has feelings. Because of my, <laughs> yeah. That aren't the ones I wanted to have. That, when they pull that shit. No, to me, it's just another strategy to win. <laughs> That's all it is. Really? It's almost Yes, it's almost like a running back crying because a defender goes left when they go left. That's I what I feel like that, it is. That's that's why you can't connect because there's party that thinks like that. Oh, that you're going to do that now? Yeah. This is how you're going to play it? It's about winning. It's not about two people who it's care about each other. It's a control thing. You're I've right. I've done that. I've wow. called out my girl when she's cried. And said that this is just so now, now you can win. And uh, there's times I fit, I still feel that I was right. But there's, uh, you, you know, it's, you it's one of those things. You know, you it's came one of in because she's crying. No, I don't. I don't do like, look, if I try to be like this, if I'm wrong, you know, I, I try to immediately apologize and say you're right. Sometimes I'll defend myself, you know, hopelessly for like five, ten minutes. And then I'll be like, all right, you're right. <laughs> but like when I'm right. And I call you out on something like, you know, just dumb shit. Like, how come you have to keep, I always have to keep doing these dishes. You're never doing the dishes, but just stupid oh, shit just like just... that. And then somehow it escalates to you're crying. And then it's just like, yeah, I'll be like, look, this is ridiculous. 
Okay, I've done the dishes like the last eight days in a row. You haven't done them, but now you're crying to make me feel like I'm this bully. Yeah, go and then, to your and room. Then, and then as I'm, no, and as I'm talking like this, then, it, then it'll be like, why are you yelling? And it's like, this isn't yelling. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is yelling. Yeah. This, this is yelling. Is a, this is a high, this is a, uh, you, you have tonal issues. You're not, you're hearing yeah. you're, you yelling. <laughs> yeah, right, you're not yelling. When you're not yelling, when I'm talking like this, and when I'm being told that I'm yelling, it's like I'm not yelling. I'm not biting myself. I'm you not breaking you yelling. fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing how it all becomes I'm not jockeying for position. I'm, I'm seething. Seething. I'm right. not yelling. No, I get very guilty if a girl starts crying because so when of an do you argument lose it? or anything. I I really don't lose it very often. Um, I can't even describe when I would. When, it's it's like with the ex-wife, I would lose it. Yeah, because I had no, I could give a shit at that point. Oh, with the, with like, during the process, fuck yeah, you, fuck that, whatever. But now it's just like, <laughs> even if I know I'm right, I'll just go like, you know, I just got to cut my losses. What's here. the that's meanest fun, thing? What's awesome. the meanest thing you've ever said in an argument to to a female? Ooh, it's a great one. It's got to be the ex-wife. I'm your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be the ex-wife. It was something to the effect of, you know, then get the fuck out because I'd rather fuck her. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. I, 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 I never, I never do the name thing. I never do. You oh know, God, I do. Cunts. I never do really? that. Oh no, I yeah. start with that. Yeah, but me too. You yeah, lead yeah. with the cunt. I remember, oh, yeah. I remember they have to be capitalized because they're proper names. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> One of the meaner ones I did. This girl started crying. And I was so annoyed by saying, "Oh, fucking grow up!" Yeah, oh, that's bad. Oh. Grow up, <laughs> grow up. Yeah, that's I'm not, not your fucking one. father. No, that was I my just... late twenties, early thirties. You know, and I, I had that level I, of anger. And we was talking about before. I don't like makeup sex. The whole myth of, yeah. "Wow, you're mad oh, at each nuts. other." That's you not... argued, and now you you just like you stopped arguing. You got your shit together. Let's have this passionate sex. No, no, because I'll still not like you. But that, but like, that's... I'll be like, no, I, I'm I'm not liking you right now. Uh, no, I, I want to really face you. I want to be facing you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, pushing yeah, that face in the pillow. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> Everything's okay, baby. Uh, We're back together. Uh, it's it's not this. Like, yeah, that's part of it. That's part of it. That's part of it. Yeah. You I want like to continue that? not liking you. I got to wind down from the argument and the bullshit that we had before I could be passionate with I, you. Right. I really think it's about you know, ripping everything down, destroying everything. Everyone's raw and fucked up, and the, you're tired from arguing, and then it's like you just, it's this primal union, man. No, I don't see it like that. Yeah, some people could see it like this. <laughs> bleh, bleh, fucking, and, yeah, you mother, we argued. And de I see it like that. Um, you can start I, like that, but I'm it evolves. I'm not very attracted to you right now because... You're a fucking cunt still, yeah. and I, you were. Now you you you, to you were a cunt five minutes ago, and we're yeah, in the yeah, very now, new. Now it's supposed to be all nice, unless you're into you know I, fucking choking sex and shit like that. I, do, I do, no, that's not, not unless my they, game. they ask for it specifically. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but then it's awkward. I have one so woman ask me that. Rape. You can choke me if you want. And I'm like, I, I didn't even know how to do it. You know, so you, <laughs> so you, you sit there holding a woman's neck while you're fucking going. Is this good? Is, you, <laughs> is that a yes? You want me to stop? Some kind of forensic files reenactment going on. You know, <laughs> I just I, I'm embarrassed yeah. about arguing in public because I I've been yes. that guy in my life. That's the most embarrassing. Oh, I don't know how many yeah, times you've never. had like if you've been in a parking lot or a shopping mall or somewhere where another guy you're having the thing with your chick and another guy comes up looks at her and goes is everything all right here oh that fucking moment no, i've never no, had no. that oh you got to try harder I i've been uh, i've been this <laughs> clenched teeth guy going don't make a fucking scene oh no i'm making don't, the scene I'm, i turn into a ventriloquist don't make a fucking scene <laughs> don't make a fucking scene i swear to fuck I am gonna just walk the fuck away oh and leave my God. you right here in the store. I'm gonna drive home. Don't make a fucking scene, okay? You cock, you fucking cock sucker. <laughs> so I, I, I can't stand like when, when I, I try to keep shit in house, even like with our our apartment, like because it's an old building, the walls are so thin. When she gets going, like I always say, you don't like. I always say, you don't have to, stick, you don't have to yell at that loud. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just let all the neighbors know what the fuck is going on? I think what the funny thing is, is they think I'm hitting you, and you're in here after you fucking hitting me. <laughs> I like those fucking. I, 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 I'm gonna look like a fucking asshole. Whisper, yeah, I leave. whisper yeah, arguments. Yeah, I, yeah I when you yelled. go out, everyone's gonna look at you like you're the victim. <laughs> I've yelled I in my shit. house. Yeah. Clean up your fucking shit. <laughs> we used to yell in my you neighborhood. Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut the fuck up. 
I, I never, <laughs> never whisper. Greg, now, Greg, why don't you call the cops? Just call the cops and get it over with. <laughs> I used to, we used to have these horrible arguments in a, in a quiet neighborhood to the point where I got embarrassed when I'd go outside because I was sure that neighbors <laughs> that you could hear. Knew, right? Yeah, and I, you know, literally, I'd see my neighbor on the street. We'd be taking our garbage out at the same time. And I had moments where I had to stop myself and go, I'm not hitting her. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me just send this one off at the yeah, pass yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Here's I'm not hitting her. They don't know. I was getting parents when that got yelled at me. I, I, I it was, it was accidental. My uh, girlfriend one time I was arguing with her and she had moved her hand or whatever and I, I blocked I just it was a stupid thing and I cut her with my nail by accident. It was like a minor thing, but it wasn't an, 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 uh, an aggressive thing. Raptor. <laughs> it was like one of those stupid things. And then we're yelling at each other, and as she's walking out, she goes, and why don't you trim your nails? You're always cutting up the inside of my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Point her. That's nice. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That is yeah. great. So, Mark, you still, you're still you going to break up with this one? I don't fuck. I break up with her every day, man. And, now, and I don't know what the hell to do. I, I really don't know what to do about it, because I I can't help the fact that I have feelings for her. Like I, the, the the last few I've dated, I, I didn't really have them. What does she way. think of you? Like, huh? what does she think of you? Has, has she gotten any of the revelations over the time you've been together? Like, holy shit, this guy was sweet, and now he's yelling at me. She like, knew what she's getting into. She she, she basically stalked me, and that's how we met. I think I talked about mm -hmm. it the last time I was here. And it turns out, like, I'm I'm kind of stuck because she used to, as a job, work with severely emotionally disturbed children. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So like, I, that's you lose. right. That's who I am. <laughs> Uh, like I'm gonna it. scream and yeah, yell, yeah. and she's like, you know, just doing this psychological, she's heard it all right? Oh, she just, okay. she's putting up with right. exactly. All this is right. a day at the okay. office for her, exactly. Ooh. Oh shit! So like, I'm, I'm really stuck, and then she feels bad. No, obviously, if we're together, we're wired to be fucked up, like Does with each other. Does she hold a clipboard during your argument, <laughs> <laughs> checking off no, just, things, just and during, taking notes, oh, just during yeah. sex? Yeah. She holds a <laughs> no, but I, I don't, I don't really know what I'm gonna do, only because like, you know, there's no, there's no real trust there, and I've never had a woman say this to be before because like when i like somebody when i and i thought this was gone too when i get emotionally connected the jealousy starts you know i get nuts you know and this is after dating that dominatrix chick who was her job was to you know <laughs> to spank and stick guys. things into yeah, sad men right yeah so <laughs> <laughs> so the uh so, and i put up with that but uh but this one the first time i left town and when we were together I, to go on the road she just said to me, she says, look, you know, you've never been on the road since we've been going together. I just want you to know that if you fuck anybody out on the road, I'm going to fuck people you know. Oh, oh. So, like, now there's this, wow. like, this negotiation in place. Like, okay, we are incapable of trust or intimacy, but now we're just going to have this weird yeah, detente. Yeah, warnings out yeah, there. Yeah, 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 like yeah. There's some sort of yeah, <laughs> threat. Oh. Mutual assured destruction. Exactly. <laughs> so, you just saw the tip. She's going to burn down the village. <laughs> yeah, when, this, so. when this one goes south, dude, just stop. Scorched if you want to stay in it, policy. stop telling her your secrets immediately. Wow. I, you know what? I, I, I kind of felt that. Yeah. no, that, I'm not telling her mine. I'm telling her everyone else's. They, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, and I just, I, you know, I, I had that feeling that, like, there are moments of vulnerability where I'm like, this, because when we get in fights... You know, she, like, gets vicious. I mean, like, mean. And she hits. You know, she gets a few in. Oh, yeah, I got one of those. Yeah. Oh, man, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone, they, they, they call it passion. I'm passionate. Passionate? You're fucking hitting me. They're making a list of weapons they can use. It's like a cachet, oh, a weapons cache that they have in their, they, like, w that they bring up. She has said shit to me that I cannot. She held out. On telling me about this dude that she had sex with until, like, I, I could not believe the timing of this. Wow. Wait, why, why, wait, no wait, wait, dude, she had sex with before you? Well, it was sort of in this weird gray area where we, you know, we weren't, <laughs> oh, like, it was yeah, one of those gray areas. Right. Oh. right. Yeah. But it was a dude I knew, and it was a dude that, you know, we're not friends or nothing, but we were up in Seattle. Everything was going good, me and the girl. <laughs> we just had great sex. We're getting along. And then out of nowhere, she goes, oh, by the way. You know, I, I I swept with this guy, and I'm and I was like, what the fuck? I, it's not uh, even that I care that much. Only in that I'm like, now I got to be, you know, you fucked that guy, and you fucked me, and now I got to know that, uh, and like, you know, now like he's got to know that, and, and that's like, Mark, now what are you doing to yourself? <laughs> what are you? This, <laughs> exactly. I mean, is this exagger a little bit exaggerated? It's got to have. She's got to have some good points, but this just seems like you know, friend she's to friend, adorable. 
and uh, and she's really smart, and she's okay. like quirky, and she's sweet Why as Why did fun. she tell you she fucked him? Did she feel guilty all of a sudden, or she's trying to sabotage I, a good thing? I, I I think she told me it was preemptive. I think she she thought started to think that I would uh, find out. Yeah. Okay. And and then why, why she picked right after sex? Why we were out of town on the first day we were out of town? So I I couldn't have a way out. I couldn't send her home. I couldn't you know. And then but see that's one of those things where why the hell can I just get over it? What do I care? You know, I'm, I've been the dirtiest pig in the world. I mean, what do like what do I care? She's not mm. winning. I got mad at a girl. One, I got mad at a girl one time because I knew she was doing something one day with a guy. She was fooling around the guy lightly, like she didn't fuck him. Yeah, she didn't get her pussy. I knew she was like a light thing. We had just been seeing each other, and I knew on the day that she was. Cause I remember where I was. I was in Las Vegas having a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> but she didn't know that, so I fucking... You were the moral, you had the high dude, ground. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was fucking all over her for that, and I finally had to tell her, like, hey, look, oh, I was getting blown while a guy was fucking his wife. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. It was, it was actually not that good of a threesome. So yeah, you it doesn't were, you sound were, like it. The wife <laughs> was blowing you while he was fucking, fucking her? Fucking her, yeah. And that was it. I mean, that was. I didn't fuck her. I didn't want to fuck her. But that, do you say goodbye to the couple after something like that? Like, yeah. you, know, say, you two have a good fucking time. Fucking pay oh, They leave. Oh, you pay them. Oh, I didn't yeah, realize yeah, it. It's a oh, live oh. sex show. You can watch it. It's interactive. Oh, it wasn't just want. someone you met at a show. No. Like no, a couple. No. Yeah, because like I pictured him standing like, all right, like tweeting as she's blowing <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah. <laughs> You're into this. You know? No, Twitter wasn't around then, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, literal Jim. I wish I was exaggerating. <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry about that. I would have been around. I'm hey, tired. Hey, 12 what an months, asshole basically. I am. No, I'm just right. technically Bill Clinton was an old <laughs> asshole I am. <laughs> no, Bill, I do. I thank you. Uh, I do wow. wish I, I wish Does I was. Does that brain ever shut off? And you got mad, Mark, you got mad yeah. at her? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's that self-righteous stuff. Wow. What are you thinking right now? Mm. I'm thinking that I said too much, but I, um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, Billy, like I, I appreciate the concern, you know, because yeah, I, just like, looking out for you. Yeah. I, I'm, I, it's driven, it's driven me a little crazy that after all these three and a half years of all this heartache and bullshit, I went through, I finally come out of the tunnel a bit and I get emotionally connected to, to something that is so volatile. You got to just make sure that you're not, you don't keep casting your, your, your rod into the same poison pond and you keep pulling out the same one. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, I watched. I watched a buddy of mine do that. He kept breaking up chicks and fucking psychos, and he would come. He would consistently show up with the exact same kind of girl. It's like, dude, why don't you stop fucking <laughs> pulling these fucking girls out of that fucked up goddamn dive of a bar? Yeah, right. Yeah, stop. What, yeah, how many there's more nothing but damaged yeah. people in there, including uh, yourself. Stop sticking your dick into hurricanes. Yeah, go, right, exactly. <laughs> Join a softball league. Oh Take a God. cooking class. But, but the find problem something. With the, but the problem is you're wired for those girls. I'm a wired. Yeah. I like. I'm like an emotional suicide bomber. I am wired <laughs> to self detonate as soon as I really feel close to somebody. Because they fuck really good. <laughs> Those they do. kooks <laughs> fuck really good. But we're, but we're kooks. The worse never, the father, the better the fuck. That's right. That's, that's one of the truest statements ever made. Oh, God. So that's, that's why like that. That's why you, that's the, you answer your question. But we're kooks, too. They, they, we're, we can't separate ourselves from it. Right. I mean, who the fuck lives like us? You know, I'm like, I'm 46 years old, and I'm like, I was with her the other night at 1.30 in the morning eating at a <laughs> diner. You know, I'm like, every other guy my age has got kids. He's sleeping right now. Not that I want to. And he'd and love I'm, to be you. And, fucking a hot chick who's a great Fuck, instead of his fucking fat minivan wife with her dumb fucking kids. Exactly. Right, he'd love want, to be you. Can he'd we switch for a week? Because I got a weird fantasy. Dude, he'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> There's an old expression. One, uh, 50 bad men can't ruin one good woman, but one good woman can ruin 50 bad men. I mean, one bad woman can ruin 50 good men. A fucking a woman who can fuck can run any of us through the fucking mill. But a guy who's <laughs> a good fuck that's right. will get dumped even if he is. I think that's... no better girl than one that has to take a little plastic bag out in the morning and pull different colored pills out. That's right, yeah. Pop them in yeah. Her yeah. Mouth. yeah, please. There's always a purple one. Come on, who are we kidding? Yeah. No, that, that's, yeah, that's it. Yeah. She, as she surfaces from the pile of clothing on her bed, like, her little head comes out looking for her pill bag. Mark's, Mark's in trouble, man. <laughs> I am in trouble a little bit. <laughs> Does that brain ever shut down so you can go to sleep at night? No, you never stop. Well, that's, that's the other How do you thing. fucking fall asleep? Well, by the end of the day, I'm tired. From all yeah, this. But like, all the right, yelling. You just exhaust. <laughs> just get exhausted. Well, I just get exhausted. spinning. Like, right after Patrice told me that, because it was Patrice, I don't think I talked, I talked about this the last time I was here, because like, like I become aware of my head. Like I got into a train the last time I was in New York. And, uh, and I'm thinking, like, you know, get it, stay out of your head, stay out of your head. And I sit on this train. A woman gets on the train. <clears throat> She's got a, a box 
with, a, with an ice cream maker in it because I see the ice cream maker on the box. And I just, my brain just immediately was like, I like fucking ice cream. Maybe I could have an ice cream maker. How do, why, why do you make ice cream? What kind of ice cream do I make? Could I make the better ice cream that I would buy at the store? You know, like, I love ice cream oh so much. God. It'd be like living with a That's drug dealer. Exhausting. Right. But oh I had to, like, literally say, shut the fuck up. And then I had to stop myself from yelling at the woman, I guess you can handle it. You know? <laughs> but that's what, but that my thought process is what makes you a great comic. It's like, the, maybe it, all right, there's a price to pay for it, but the average person gets on and just looks and goes, box. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey man, uh, your podcast has a hell of a buzz there, Mark Marin. Get a little business out of the way. Oh, yeah. The podcast is doing real well. WTFpod.com. Yes. Yeah, thanks, man. And yeah. What are you taping in New York uh, tonight? Comics? Yeah, we're doing we're doing two shows at Comics. Uh, the first show is uh, David Cross, Michael Showalter, Glenn Wool, Maeve Higgins, and... Um, Oh shit! Uh, who else? Uh, the one other one. The second show is Bobby Kelly, David Tell. Uh, that's a nine thirty show. David Tell, Bobby Kelly, um, uh, Kurt Metzger, Joe DeRosa, wow. and uh, Anthony Jeselnik. You literally could have broken that down in the first show. Call it people who hate Jim Norton, <laughs> and the second show well, people yeah. who yeah. like yeah. Jim. Oh, oh, yeah, wow, it's really? I, 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 on the poster I said nerdier and dirtier. That's that's what, huh? <laughs> I don't know why they would hate you. You know, I, that's why. That's why. Like, I love you, and I had you. We had you on the show. It was like, very I love, enjoyable. Well, I, it's just it's amazing because there are people with the podcast that they never listen to you, yep. and they never listen to Patrice. Patrice's podcast blew some fucking minds. I got some emails like from people that were like, "I don't know what that was." Oh, or why that? Because like when you talk to Patrice you know, for a while there, you know it's, it's amazing because it's somewhere in the middle of it. You're like, I'm talking to Satan, <laughs> like there, there's because he's selling you on these ideas. Where you're like, I shouldn't be agreeing with this, <laughs> but it's like, but yeah, I, yeah, yeah, it's making <laughs> sense. Yes. This shit is so logical. Yes. Oh yeah, it was Absolutely great. Until making you break sense. it down later and go, what am I? Patrice is the fucking pyramid scheme of relationships. <laughs> right. yeah. He actually convinces you that it's okay to fuck another girl and then make your chick smell it and say that's what you get, bitch. <laughs> Exactly. He's a great salesman. Yeah, he's amazing. <laughs> but like a lot of the people that you would think would listen to, the, like I just do comics of all kinds. I don't pass any judgment. So a lot of people uh, are fans of you now that yep. didn't know you before. Yeah, it was. Uh, it got. We had a nice write up too by this guy who writes for Vanity Fair. I was very. I never get good write ups awesome. by those Vanity guys. Vanity Fair. Oh, I remember. Like he's a good that, example. Yeah. Of a guy that may not have known you or, or, or taken you into consideration. Yeah, he's a, this guy James Walcott. Jim Walcott, he's yeah, great. He's a fan of yours, too. I've spoken to him. He's actually, he loves you, man. And, and uh, you go after guys that, not after, that's a wrong word, but uh, you, you talk to guys that you have problems with, too. Which, All is, very, which is mostly everybody. Like, I, there's always a little tension. Me and Bill had a, a little bit of tension, but not hostile tension. Just Wait, sort of you like, guys had a problem before the podcast? How could they not? I, I wasn't aware. <laughs> I was classic. I was classic. Uh, Mark Marin. Wait, you didn't like Bill Burr? No, no, no. no. What was this about? Yeah. Well, no, it's not a problem. We just didn't really know each other as well as we did after the podcast. Like we, you make assumptions about people, and there were assumptions made about each other. And I think that we we found a common ground. He had made, made some assumptions about me. Oh, come it. on! Oh, You're talking oh, about yeah. this person? Yeah. No, no. no. No, what no do we problem. talk about? Oh, wait, I remember. No, mm -hmm. and I remember you are right, because I remember the first time I saw Mark, I was doing an open mic at Stitches Comedy Club in Boston. Ooh. And you came, you came walking in, and it was right when the, the 80s boom had died out. <laughs> it was the early over. 90s, right? And then all these, there was this whole new wave of guys coming in. And he came in, and uh, there was some open micer who had gone up before him and oh. done a bit about Cheese Whiz. And yeah. he went on stage and immediately is destroying. And I'm like, wow, this guy's a fucking unbelievable comedian. And then started trashing the open micer <laughs> oh, before no. he did something to the effectives. Yeah, and, and what is the deal with Cheese Whiz? Oh, huh? no. I don't know, but I just sit around going, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and all of us open micers were like, did he just comp compliment his act? Or did he <laughs> shit on it? And then the comedian you were with bursted out laughing. And then I, and I got totally insecure because I still hadn't got on and oh, thought that you were going to trash me and I was like this guy's a dick yeah. I don't like this guy you were both right <laughs> <laughs> that's right yeah that's right yeah well so yeah so we talk about I, that but there's a lot of people I would never know like I just did two episodes with Judd Apatow because he he, he loves comedians. Well, he wrote he me. Loves. I wouldn't know. He emailed oh, me. Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, what happened, Jimmy? Oh, what happened? Jesus, you know. You know what's weird about him is he, when he was 16 movies. years old. He interviewed yeah. comics. Yeah, he talked about this on our show. It, it, it loves it. Yeah, I had the tapes. He had the tapes. We no digitized them. We used them on the first episode of the Judd Apatow episode on WTF. 
We I got to check that one out. We used the interviews of with uh, Shanling, Seinfeld, and uh, wow. and Jay Leno in 1983. That he did when he was wow. 16. Wow. That's cool. Uh, and he just loves comics, and he's a fan of the wow. show, so he got in touch with me. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't have seen myself talking to him. We had a good time him. with him. Yeah, he's a good, he's a funny guy. What's going on with you and Rogan? Because I follow you on Twitter, and you're, nothing. I asked you're chasing guy. Rogan, and he he hasn't accepted yet. The first time I asked him to come on, he didn't want to because you know, I'd done that in the two episodes with Mencia, and he didn't want to like because I didn't. I didn't realize, like, because I wanted to get him to come on the show, and I didn't care if he talked about Mencia, but I didn't realize that 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 video really of, of him calling out Mencia is really their wedding video <laughs> in the sense that you know he's he's going to be he's going to married be, to him right right yeah, yeah. right mm. so he so i understood it i said all right well we don't have to talk about that maybe another time we'll wait it out and then i emailed him again to come on the podcast and he just didn't even email me back so someone on twitter said you know why don't you have rogan i just wanted to make it clear that like i've you know i have an open invitation to rogan right. that that's all there's no problem Do with you him change and I. your opinions on some of these guys after you talk to him yeah, I changed. Like, I, well, did you I, change your opinion on uh, uh, Mencia? No, I, I didn't. My opinion was just that you know initially I didn't know how deep the weirdness and 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 the crime of stealing was. So I, what happened with those episodes is I did a whole episode and I felt like he was bullshitting me and I didn't know what the fuck mm. to do with the episode because I already told people I'd done it and I was in trouble because I got this big you know bunch of bullshit. So then I started talking to some other comics and and Madrigal said you know talk to some of the Latino guys. So I talked to these two Latino comics, Willie Barcena and. Uh, and uh, oh, what's the other guy's name? The the Trevino, Steve Trevino, who opened for Mencia about some of the allegations and stuff. And and then I called Mencia back and I said, look, you know, we got to we I got to do some follow up because you know I'm not happy with you know how you handled the you know the stealing issue and all this other stuff. And he literally said, I said we could do it on the phone because I, I was trying to be non confrontational, <laughs> yeah, right? And then he goes, I'll be right over. Oh, good I, for you for calling him, at least. Yeah, so, but then he came back, and he did, like, an hour, and it was, like, this weird, like, he, he couldn't quite keep his story together, and he couldn't, like, you know, he was unraveling a little bit. And it was, oh, it was, shit. It, it was pretty wild. And uh, and so uh, my opinion of him, if anything, I was like, you know, this is a the guy's a troubled guy. You know, it, you know, more than anything else. I'm not saying he's any better a person or a he's comedian. The, it's, it's like the when you're the wizard... And the fucking curtain is coming down, and you just you're holding it up with one hand in front of your face. There's a certain humiliation with it. I'm not saying right. That's right. And, and it's like, as a guy, wow. I like to do. Like I, I took a flight with him recently. We just happened to be on the same plane together, going to Dallas or whatever. And it was like he's a pleasant guy. It's like you you want to like Carlos, and it's but like he's a nice guy to talk to. So there's something. He's a nice dude. There's something wrong with the wiring. And I had Dane on, you know, and I I have people on that I wouldn't like. I, with Dane, I didn't. I was never one a, a real hater of Dane, or never. I and I never registered him one way or the other. I just never found him, you know, that interesting as a comedian. And I I judged him as more of an indication of of something horrible with society as opposed to being a bad comic. <laughs> oh, but but I. Uh, <laughs> oh man. But like he wanted to come on, you know, and and, and I in in the. Thing that happens when I interview these guys is all the haters now have an opportunity to see them as people, to hear them as as right. it's not like you know that fucker Mencia or fucking Dane Cook. Now it's a guy talking for an hour like a human being, and you can judge them. If you want to hate, then fine. Now you know him as a person. And I literally was with Dane. I was like, I was like, why do people hate you so much? I, I didn't know really what to talk to him about. But he probably wants to answer that. I he mean, did. He's very prepared. It's really, <laughs> <laughs> very focused. It's like it's like that scene in uh. In Frost Nixon, there's a great scene where the guy is like, Nixon's a criminal, I never want to shake his hand. And then Nixon walks in, and he goes, hi, I'm Richard Nixon. And the guy's yeah, yeah. like, oh, hi. Nixon puts his hand out. Right. Right. Yeah. It's like whenever a hater normally is, again, especially when it's something like a comic, it's they, people that normally are very... Like, mm -hmm. But they're just things that you, pleasantly. They're singular. They're not multi-dimensioned to people when they're they're hating up because they're part of a group that hates people because that guy represents something. When it's a person, it's very hard unless you're an, an asshole. Right? Mm -hmm. Can you just hate? It was so funny though because I, you know, you hooked me up with Dane. That was nice of you. And I, the weird thing was, is when he wanted to do the show, he called me out of nowhere in San Francisco. I'm walking down the street and I go hello, and he goes, Mark, it's Dane Cook. And I'm like, holy shit, you have this energy on the phone too? Are you, like, are you at home pacing around? What's going on? When are we gonna do the show? <laughs> very intense fellow, that guy. Isn't he? Coming from you. No, he's very, yeah, he's, he's very focused. <laughs> I tried to get under his skin a little bit, but it didn't really work. No. And people ended up liking him more. He's so used to it. Huh? Guys, he is? You, so you used love coming to it. Dude, his point. brother stole millions. It's like after something Christ. awful like that happened, it's That's like, eh, what, what's going to phase you after your fucking stepbrother, whatever the fuck guy But he's, really, he's got like the, uh, the, the, the Teflon, he's got the disposition of a politician. You know, like he's like, you know, he's very clear about, you know, how far he's going to go with the conversation. You know, he's very deliberate. You know, when I, when I brought up one thing out of that, that kind of threw him a little bit.
bit. The, the weird thing was, he was not that funny about it. He, oh, you know, shit. He, like, his first response was not to make a joke. It was like, uh, that was between me and that person. Yeah, Straight like, interview. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. It was a little no, intense. No fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing Louis C.K. then. <laughs> no, this was about okay. Steve Byrne, actually. But now, okay, yeah, but oh, this week, right. it took me a long time. I'm going to interview Louis this week. I'm interviewing Ira Glass today. That's going to be interesting. You running out of guys? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was an interesting opportunity. I mean, I, you know, that guy is. You're changed. onto a, it's a great thing. He's, a, got he's, going a, on. he's a radio guy. I mean, he's changed the face of public radio. So I, it's, it's going to be an interesting interview. Oh, and uh, Jonathan Ames. So I'm going to. Did you have you guys talk? Yeah, to him? yeah I did an mm -hmm. episode of his show. He's great. What yeah, show no, is that? yeah, he's a good. Bored to death. Well, he used to do stand up, oh, okay. kind of. Oh, know, okay, of course. He's dating Fiona Apple. Still, yeah. He's a dirty boy. Have you read his books? No, <laughs> I hear he's uh, very good, though. He's right up your alley. I mean, uh, he's like, yeah, yeah. He looks like a complete filth bag, though. Because he's really, <laughs> yes. he's really, he's a very funny dude, and he's a very funny writer, and he's quiet and a very pleasant man. Yeah. And you can just tell that there's something fucking despicable yeah. happening there. He just has that vibe. He writes about it, though. He's written <laughs> books on bo books and books about his experience with the transvestites and you know insanity. And, oh you know. wow! So he's really. No, yeah. Oh yeah, dirty. he's a real. Well, deal. Looks like I'll be reading <laughs> books and books. <laughs> we can fucking high five over someone who is very disappointing to their entire family. <laughs> Wow. I uh, I got to bring up uh, the fact that I saw a Bill Burr. Oh right, right. Um, yeah, last night in uh, was that date date night Fucking date yeah. night date I night. I like how you had the decency to go. What was that? Like I've booked a ton of films. What was that? <laughs> that was the uh, and the only major motion night. picture I've ever been in. Something. Yes, it was great. I was, I'm watching and I'm like, holy shit, Bill Burr. Yeah. I just sit there like, it's the oddest thing when you're just sitting there. Well, yeah, I'm like, just yeah, fucking watching yeah, then, then like, it stops being a that's movie. It's Bill yeah, Burr. It does. Yeah, it does. Like, yeah, I know yeah, that yeah. guy. At the end, you know, well, you know, big scene, kind of uh, rushing out on the roof. Where was that? Fucking Silver Cup? No, it was... <laughs> was the uh, roof of Silver Cup? I see the bridge in the background. Yeah, like, no, it, uh, yeah I think that's what it, exactly what it is. Yeah, it's right where you come on 59th Street Bridge. Let me be Bob Kelly. Dude, that movie sucked. I mean, you were good, but that movie sucked. <laughs> Bob's an animal. <laughs> but my, my favorite, uh, uh, Bill comes through the, one of the rooftop doors, and he's a cop. And he's Surprise. got the, Can you he's got the a he's classic got the gun rooftop out. scene for Bill Burr. Yes. He's got the gun out, and I love it. He's just, yeah. drop the guns, drop the guns. And he's, he's kind of running toward him like, Bill fucking looks good with a gun. <laughs> you look fucking, you, you look the part. All right, you here's, here's, here's the behind the scenes. Yeah. The behind the scenes. Yeah. 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 I love yeah. doing the behind the yeah. scenes. I'm holding, yeah. it's a, a Glock 9, and I had my thumb right behind, evidently, where that piece would oh, have just slide. Oh, and, so and, your and, finger would have yeah. been, yeah. Your and the, thumb and the been gun, cracked the, backwards. And the gun, right before the scene, like, I just, I, I just decided to hold it. I wasn't even thinking. I was just more just, don't fuck up your lines. <laughs> right? So I put my thumb behind it, and the gun guy, I was really just off camera, goes, are you fucking serious <laughs> like and it's really this tone it's like dude what the fuck <laughs> yeah i'm pretending to be a cop i don't know where to put my finger you dick you want to do these lines that's why you're over there <laughs> and what that really was is i felt really fucking stupid yeah, yeah. did they, did they, they make you no, go back to the anger no, I remember what it was. no i remember what it was no this is what it was we were what all sitting there we were all <laughs> sitting there in that the, the stairwell and it's like me and like five other guys Dressed total fucking yeah. trunch and shit, yeah. and then I, I did that, and then the guy over my head goes, "Are you fucking serious?" <laughs> then I felt I felt embarrassed because I was the only guy with lines, and I felt like you know, what does this guy know the fucking director or something? Yeah, yeah. How do they get this shit in there? So yeah. did they fix it, or can I freeze frame and see you? Hold no, no, the you just no, there's no, 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 no. Stupid. I, no, I, I actually turned around and said, "Hey, thanks," but then afterwards oh. I was just like, "You didn't have to fucking yeah, say it yeah, like yeah. that." <laughs> you Use it for the scene. Me. Use it for the scene. <laughs> Who else is in the scene? Oh, man. Uh, it's everybody. Like everybody from the movie was well, in that I haven't scene. seen the movie, so who else? Like Ray Liotta, yeah. uh, Steve Carell, Tina Fey. I think that was on the plane. I should have watched Com it. Common. Uh, it's weird. I only have eight lines in the movie, but I'm but I'm in a ton of scenes. You're like in there the whole movie. Yeah, just sort of just standing kinda... next to famous people you're talking. Right. It's great. You're in rubbing there. Rubbing my though. chin intently, listening. Just enough to completely yeah. take me out of the movie. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, ah, I know. it's fucking Bill. Oh, yeah, no, that's what I always do. Then I'll just be if I see so if I saw Jimmy in a movie, like, yeah, does Jimmy look? Look at Jimmy. Jimmy looks comfortable. By the time you thought <laughs> that, my scene would be over. <laughs> <laughs> They've learned how to cut around me. I've done a film in almost 20 years. Uh, that's not true. You were almost, almost famous. Right? How long ago was you that? Fucking almost great. 20 almost 20 years. What year was that? Yeah. No, it wasn't. That was yeah. like 10 years ago. No, I, I bet you more than 10 at this point. Yeah, it's probably 96. Yeah, yeah. yeah that that was down. 1996. Something like that. No, it wasn't. I'll Google. It was. I was with my no, first wife. No, it wasn't because Jim, Jimmy Fallon got a big part in that, and that was after he was on SNL. I remember that. Just oh. barely, like 98, 99. 
I'm going to go with. Uh, don't make me. I think. I don't know. Uh oh, IMDb. Almost famous was 2000. 2000. Yeah. Bam. Yeah. Oh, shit. Ten years. Ten years. oh my god, what has happened? Ten years. In those ten years. Ten years. That makes it feel like twenty. <laughs> he was <right. laughs> yeah, He was so it. nice, that guy, Cameron Crowe. Like he treated me like literally I had to do that scene and he would walk around going, We had to import this anger from New York. You know, and I'm running around uh, screaming. And then the saddest thing was there's a scene where I chased a bus up the ramp on a little cart. You know, uh -huh. and that's the end of the scene. But they shot that after the, the second crew came in. Everyone else left. Billy Crudup. All the, everybody on the movie left except me and a camera crew at midnight driving a golf cart after a bus up a ramp over and over and over again. <laughs> oh. And I'm like, this is movies. This yeah. is it. <laughs> <laughs> I've arrived. <laughs> I can't breathe in the fucking exhaust. <laughs> but I, I'd love to do another movie. No, Can they're I... fun as hell. As long, yeah. as, as long as you have enough... I just said waiting in the trailer is the only thing that sucks. But once you get out there, it's just... I always find it's just yeah. the opposite. Waiting in the trailer is the best part <laughs> until I get out and I prove what an awful decision they made. <laughs> Fucking bug-eyed cunt. <laughs> cunt. <laughs> Weren't you one of the Batman movies? Didn't you have a line Spider in one of the Spider-Man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Surly truck driver. Yes. But he was great. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. One line. Thanks, and I don't like him. Yeah. That was it. Yeah, but I you had a great that. moment before. You were really in the scene. I thought, yeah. I thought he was great. Thank you. I like that one. Uh, you, fucking Leota calls you Skippy. And then walking out, you're like, Skippy, I have, I have a fucking gun. <laughs> oh, they kept that? Yeah. Oh, they we got you movie. We got, we you're got barely in. here. Like, uh, you just mumble it as you walk out. And it's like, God, this is funny the fucking line. No, we got into it. I said, maybe I'll buy a shiny suit like yours. Or something like that. They, they actually let us go. Ah, oh, great! All my improv's gonna be in there, and it's and then yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, and they're like, oh wait a minute, I'm the uh, the I'm on like the see others part of the IMDb. <laughs> <You gotta laughs> see others. <laughs> oh. It's like cast others. <laughs> others. No, but I've never been in a movie where I actually had a name. So now I actually I actually had a, a last name, yeah. Detective Walsh. So I've gotten a go. real name. point where I have a last name. Did yeah. you work with it? Were you like Walsh? I'm Walsh. Yes. Come from Irish family. Then again, so was uh, so was yeah, De Niro on a Midnight history. Run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I had a uh, yeah, I had a I had a great time with it, and uh, yeah, it was it was. It was that's awesome. got to be cool, though. Fucking, you know, Ray Liotta. I'm hoping they do another one and they they make my part bigger, like Man. like Jack Kehoe in another 48 hours. Jack Kehoe. <laughs> <laughs> and then I end up trying to kill Steve Carell, and then then somebody figures it out. How could you do it, Bill? I needed the money. Yeah, I forgot about edge of, that. Edge of the building. Two, Don't do it. Too sucked. <laughs> yeah, it did. I just didn't, I, I auditioned for that for Curb. I never auditioned for Curb Enthusiasm last week. They had, had they had these auditions, and that's weird because they don't you don't get a script. They just give this little piece of paper. There's uh -oh. all these pieces of papers. One of them was uh, for a black guy. And then, and then tells the scene the black guy's in. Uh -oh. I, I auditioned for Computer Guy, which was the, the then they just list the scene. I saw Jerry Minor there, you know, who's a black guy, right? He was in uh, Lucky Louie. He's, yeah, right yeah, he's guy. a funny guy, right? So, like, I walk in and he walks in. He goes, Are you going up for black guy? I go, Of course I am. They're not sure what they want to do at the party. <laughs> <laughs> but then you just go in. The audition is you literally just go into a room and improvise with Larry. They, they give you the scene and you walk in. He's like, Hey, Mark Marin. You know, and I'm like, Hey, how you doing? What are we doing here? And he goes, Well, let's do it. And you just, let's do it. Yeah, Why? Yeah. Right. So then, yeah, I just uh, he, I, he had lost my. He, the scene was I walk in. Uh, uh, I was at a, at a restaurant and I went to the bathroom and he was sitting there. I was using my computer. I said, "Could you watch my computer when I go to the bathroom?" And I came out. He was gone. The computer was gone and everything else. And I run into him a few days later and he tells me that he let a black guy watch my computer, and and I'm supposed to get angry and then you know check myself for my racism. Right. It's a lot of information. So literally, I do the scene. I'm like, what, what kind of person walks away from a guy asking to watch his computer? And I go, I just ran, and then I feel bad. And I do the whole scene, and I walk out, and I immediately think, like, oh, shit. That's just what they need, another aggravated Jew on that show. <laughs> like, yeah, what, yeah, how am I going to get that part? Like, there's enough aggravated Jews. I should have played it differently. I don't, I'm never going to go out on these things again. <laughs> Oh my you, God. Yeah, I guess you got to go audition, on. Though. I guess you got to go on to auditions to Jimmy, get they call movies. You? Why would so, they? Yeah, yeah, I do. You know, Sucks. yeah, unless somebody just wants to put me yeah, in just one. put you in one. Oh, yeah. All right, that's what I'm hoping. Let's let yeah. come out with enough specials where they just start offering you the, uh, oh, the George just Carlin like, yeah, role. Come on in. In that uh, on, dogma man. movie yeah, or yeah. something, just come on down. You can play the big fan of your comedy. Come on down. You got five scenes. You'll be out of here in two weeks. This your second hour. Is this an hour? Yes. It's good, man. Well, come uh, cool. Sunday night, 11 p.m. Comedy Central. Yes. Let nah, it go. I'm not going to be jealous. I want two minutes overtime right now. Well, be, be jealous. Then I can do another uh, WTF and we can work it out. You can, do, you can come on anytime you want.
We we taped your Look, show. You don't have to be polite just because you know. I we're will looking fuck at you, you. You know what I mean? I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> that means he's running it's out billion, of comedians. It's he's got to get all you guys back a second. No, we had he was still did, that dick that fucked up the open mic night. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, he, I, he did my uh, Monday morning podcast and uh, people yeah. raving that that you know the Kinnison stories. Yeah, I told he that had. Yeah, 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 all these stories. You told those last time. I heard a few times ago. Bill has a great podcast. Yeah. Yeah, I keep it on the ground. Bill podcast is good too. You should check that out. How about Otto? You, ever, you should interview Otto. I'd like to interview Otto. I'm actually the weird thing is I'm not running out. Like they're like I've done 107 wow. and and I can't wow. and I can't. It's amazing how many comics are like, oh shit, you're oh yeah, of course. Like they they just keep coming. He's like, an interesting guy, man. He's had a tremendous fucking. I want to do career. Colin too. I, I called yeah, him. Colin and try, but he's busy with the show. This is the last yeah. week, right? I think so. Yeah. And uh, I did sag it. We're gonna put that up. I think in a week or two. Was like, he serious at all? Yeah. Bob went serious on you. Pretty serious, but he's like he can't get be him serious. serious. Know. You know, very uh, hard. Uh, towards the end, you know, it got a little, it got a little serious. You know, sometimes when the comedians get serious, like I'm a pretty serious guy, and there's that moment where you're like, oh, we're in serious zone, and like I'm just gonna let it happen and not freak out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're all conscious of it. We're in well, serious like, mode. Something's happening, right? <laughs> you know, and someone has to make the joke to get real. you out of it. Yeah. All right, and Mark <laughs> Marin, of course, you can see these podcasts at wtfpod.com. Right? Yeah, yeah. The, but you comics is the big uh, tonight. News. To, 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 to shows. Shows. There's two shows. A lot of a lot of great comedians. I and, got stickers. And you tape live on the stage. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. The, and those will be on your uh, website. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. We just uh, yeah. The, 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 the live one just went up on Monday. That was fucking hilarious. So you guys hilarious. are sitting down on the comic stage. Right. That for the live ones are different than the one on ones. Like I put one up on Monday from Bumper Shoot in uh, Seattle. It was Pat and Oswald, that guy Donald Glover. Eddie Pepitone, Nick Kroll, Doug Benson. That was funny. It was Nick Kroll was doing this Latino DJ character. It's hilarious. El Chupacabra. <laughs> Eleven o'clock and a half hour. My Boneyard show starts. Oh, Mark, Mark Maron, a pleasure. You'd like to listen. Nice to see you guys. If you're hey, listening, anybody pleasure. see Machete? Read the I rest of that. Does, is it good? Yeah. Machete? It's ex it's a great Danny send Trejo? Up of, of, a, of a B movie. A yeah. yeah. movie. Yeah. And they were they were very loyal uh, loyal to that. Is it, but is it like one of them Rob Zombie movies? Is it like uh, who directs? No, it's, be it's better than that. Oh yeah, Robert Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Oh, it's great. I yeah. like Rob Zombie movies too. By I the way. do too, kind of. I, that I like that Halloween one where he tried to figure out how Mike got to the way he was. That was really interesting. I didn't see that when I saw the two uh, weird ones with the with the family that kills. The House of a Thousand Corpses. Yeah, I kind of like those. <laughs> Turn off the lights when you guys are done. <laughs> yeah, we're getting out of here, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. All right, everybody, have a Sorry, pleasant. So sweaty. Bill, you going back to LA today? No, I'm here till uh, Saturday. I'm here till Saturday. Saturday. Who's in tomorrow? I don't know. You I'm, come back I'm, if you I, want. It's yeah, up to you. If, no I, if I don't no have pressure. like morning TV, because uh, nice problem to have. <laughs> <laughs> like those eight minutes as the weatherman is getting God, ready for the forecast. As you're the forced land and, and of the, the host, oh, who, you know, they don't even listen to you. And oh, Mark, yes. you come back too Crap. if you want. So, yeah, Jimmy, I hear you have a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that when they when they just go off the bio. And then, hey, you what's up with the lawn? You're like, in Spider-Man, weren't you? I had one line. Um, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, do I have um, a thing? Jimmy, Jimmy, so you're controversial. Say What, what controversial a, things a thing? will you be discussing I'll, I'll tonight? Thing after the show. So I don't want to sit and, sit. and uh, wait. Oh, Danny boy. Although uh, Windows is great when you, you go to shut it down. It goes, power. Uh, please do not power off or unplug your machine. Installing updates. That's not great. It's like, no, it's not. Because I can't shut it off now. i got to sit here and wait for my goddamn computer. doesn't do that. In this day and age. What the fuck is it? See you right, tomorrow, just, folks. Yeah, okay. All right. We'll